Pluto is the Visit Altamaha.org. Equal housing lender, federally insured by NCUA. Wayne Canyons are digging the pig and shopping at their hometown local grocery store located at 440 West Cherry Street in Jessup. Yes, Piggly Wiggly is open seven days a week for your convenience, and every day has great discount prices on just about every item in the store. Whether it's dairy products, meat, household items, food from the deli, cakes from the bakery, you name it, the pig has got it with items flying off the shelves. Piggly Wiggly and Jessup, where every day is discount day at the pig. Piggly Wiggly and Jessup, the hometown grocery store, where the Wayne County's favorite place to shop for groceries. Wayne County is digging the pig. Piggly Wiggly, located at 440 West Cherry Street in Jessup. The following is an exclusive presentation of Jessup Broadcasting, the sports leader in Southeast Georgia.
It's not just the home or a car. It's the five hours you spent in the kitchen mastering your epic wing recipe and the three-hour family road trip to the tailgate party. While other insurance companies just see them as a bundle or combo, State Farm agents see your home and car as the time and memories you put into them. I'm Robin Eubanks, and I understand what things really mean to you, and I'm here to help you give you the protection they deserve. Talk to me today for your home and auto insurance. And we want to wish the Jackets another winning season. You make us proud. The February deals are hot at Liberty during Ram Truck Month. Save up to thirteen thousand on new twenty seventeen Ram trucks. Save up to nine thousand on twenty seventeen Chrysler three hundred, and up to seven thousand on twenty seventeen Chargers. Drive one home today with zero percent financing for up to seventy two months. No money down, and your first payment isn't until May twenty eighteen. Liberty Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram across from Walmart in Hinesville, or shop online at LibertyChrysler.com. Limited time offers with approved credit. All offers plus tax, title, and fees. See Liberty for complete details. Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop is ready for the season. If you're looking for your favorite team's apparel, Sheffield's is the place to be. Sheffield's is your Under Armour location, has specials on shirts and shoes. Sheffield's has your bats, balls, helmets, work, anything your team needs. Sheffield's has you covered and is ready to outfit you and your entire team. Sheffield's also helps you after the season with trophies and flags for the year, end of the party, or banquet. Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop serving Wayne and surrounding counties for years. Whatever the sport, whatever the season, Sheffield's has you covered. Stop by or call at 427-2982. Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop, a true winner when it comes to sporting goods. Hello, Sybil's Family Restaurant. Hi. Have you been getting a lot of calls from a little boy? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, we have. Well, that's my son. He just loves your place. He always talks about how you have something for everyone. We do have something for everyone with the best fried chicken around. Steaks, burgers, sandwiches, seafood, homemade desserts, and so much more to choose from. Your son keeps calling us looking for everything. Sybil's Family Restaurant, near the intersection of 341 and Highway 84 in Jessup. Your starting lineup brought to you by Jones Medical Equipment in Jessup and Brunswick, where your quality of life is our business. Jones Medical Equipment in Jessup is your full-service medical equipment provider for Southeast Georgia. We accept most insurances, including Medicare, Medicaid, TRICARE, and Blue Cross Blue Shield. We offer 24-hour on-call service. Come see us for your respiratory needs, including oxygen and CPAP. Plus, we have the equipment to get you back on your feet from beds to scooters to walkers and more. And we offer a full line of scrubs. Come see our friendly staff. Jones Medical Equipment in Jessup and Brunswick. Your quality of life is our business. County Baseball brought to you in part by Hurricanes Convenience Store, Sheriff John Carter, and Damon Famous Favors and Wings. Welcome back. Starting line us by Jones Medical Equipment. Our follows for Locust Grove Wildcats. Luke Wellborn leads it off. He'll be in right field. Josh Newton bats second at second base. Gavin Lee, the third baseman, bats third. Nolan Chris, the pitcher, will bat cleanup. Batting fifth will be the DH Owen Merchant. He'll bat in the left hitter Jerry Tooney. Or Turley, I'm sorry, Jerry Turley. Next will be the center fielder Austin Moody. After that is the third baseman Cole Vickers. Batting eight. The catcher, J.K. Lee, and batting ninth, the shortstop, C.J. Upchurch. The Wayne County, Cooper Martin leads it off. He'll play short. Griffin Boykin will bat second. He'll be at second base. And four times and bats third. He'll be at first base. James Maldon will clean up spot. He's at third. Kate Lambert bats fifth to the right. J.T. Crosby, the pitcher, bats sixth. Batting seventh, left hitter Dan Story. Batting eighth, David Mosley, the catcher. And batting ninth, the center fielder, Brad Thomas. Wayne County coaches and Locust Grove coach at home plate. Going over the ground rules here at Howard Bow. 300 down the line, 340 in the alley, 400 to dead center. Just a beautiful night for baseball. Wayne County, Locust Grove. Glad you're with us here on Big Dog Country. FM 105.5. Should be a fun game. Should be a quick game. Again, two good pitchers on the mound. This time of year, pitching dominates hitting. If Crisp and Crosby are on their game, it could be a quick one. It'll be the question, who can put runs across the plate here in this ball game? But again, if you want to see one of the best pitchers in the state, he'll be on the mind for Locust Grove. No one Crisp, we saw him last year as a sophomore, and he's already committed to the University of Florida as a freshman. And again, most believe he'll be going to the Major League Draft. 
point he graduates next year. But again, one of the best pitchers, and not the best pitcher in the state. Those two guys from Loganville are pretty good as well. So should be a fun ball game. Coach McDonald and his staff looking forward to the challenge. Glad to have Locust Grove in Howard Bill Warren Field in Jessup. Again, we'll see him later in the year in Atlanta at SunTrust Park. It's Wayne County, Locust Grove here tonight. Game time, 6 o'clock, top of the hour. We'll be back with more from the ballpark. We'll do it after the timeout. Kim Boykin of Boykin Steel and Crane wish the Yellow Jackets the best of luck this season. And Boykin Steel and Crane's legacy will make your foundation stronger as they specialize in steel fabrication, industrial maintenance, steel erection, crane rentals, and concrete. Boykin Steel and Crane in operation in Justin, the Wayne County since 1972. Jim Boykin has taken over the family business and continues to do what's best for his community. Boykin Steel and Crane located on the Spanner Highway in Jessup. The number to call is 427-7751. Boykin Steel and Crane. Again, wishing the Yellow Jackets the best of luck. Mobile Concrete in Jessup wishes the Yellow Jackets the best of luck in today's game and wants everyone to know that no job is too big or small for Mobile Concrete. Mobile Concrete has the locations in Jessup, Fastly, Brunswick, Glenville, Hinesville, Darien, and 800, Georgia. Located at 1705 Highway 341 South in Jessup, just past East Bishop Chevrolet on the left. Seven plant locations for 25 mixtures. Give Mobile Concrete a call today at 427-2330. Mobile Concrete says go Wayne County. Is your checking account broke? These days, every little bit helps. So if you can eliminate monthly checking charges, why wouldn't you? At Interstate Credit Union, we'll help you afford everyday living with our low to no cost products and services. Call 800-822-1124 or go online at iufcu.org to find out how to make checking work for you at Interstate Credit Union. Branches in Jessup, Baxley, Midway, and Hazelhurst. Federally insured by NCUA. Wayne County Baseball, brought to the park by your Jessup Bigley Wrigley, Republic Services, and Wayne Memorial Hospital. Wayne County 4-0 coming into tonight's game. Locust Grove 3-1. They lost to, lost to McIntosh. Only lost thus far. Yeah, they lost the shortstop from last year, lost their ace left-handed pitcher from last year, but pretty much the starting lineup intact from last year, as is Wayne County. And Wayne lost Mason Robinson up to Augusta University. We got Peach Belt Player of the Week last week, and congrats to him. But again, Cooper just went to second to short. Griffin came from the DH roll to second base, and everything else is pretty much intact. Four Townsend, James Marlin, Kate Lambert, J.T. Crosby. David Mosley, Brad Thomas in the starting lineup all last year. One newcomer to the starting lineup right now is Gann Starling. He's played well. He's played left field. He's also been in the closer role for Wayne County. Still a lot of talent on that bench. Just got Kalaja Hartzog back from the basketball team as they were eliminated yesterday in Stars Mill. So Kalaja is back on the bench. Ty Anderson, Jasper Deverly, Carson Popple, Griffin Clark, Ham Perkins, Bryce Miller, Chase Bryan, Jasper Stanfield, Hagen Harder on that dugout for Coach McDonald and staff to use whenever they see fit. And this field is in great shape, and the grass is as green as you can possibly be here in early to early February, March, about to roll in next week. But again, Wayne County with their brand new uniforms, they do them tonight against the Locust Grove. About to take the field, about ready for the national anthem, about ready for the first pitch here between Wayne County and Locust Grove. The Wildcats of Locust Grove, the Yellow Jackets of Wayne County, going to battle out here tonight at Howard Bowen in front of a pretty good crowd here, and the crowd's still building as we speak. We'll be back with more from the ballpark. It's Wayne County. Locust Grove at the top of the hour, back after the timeout. All Day Roofing is proud to be sponsored by Wayne County Baseball. I want you to know that they got you covered when it comes to roofing. Locally owned and operated with over 30 years experience, Eddie Fultz and All Day Roofing is ready to help you as they specialize in all types of roofs. Licensed and insured, give them a call today at 912-266-0252. That's 912-266-0252. That's All Day Roofing, where they've got you covered when it comes to roofing. If you need a roof of any kind, call All Day Roofing today. Again, the number 912-266-0252. To all day roofing wishing the Jack is a state championship this year. When you become a customer at Prime South Bank, you become part of a team that has your back and is with you every step of the way in achieving your financial goals. Our doors opened in 1891. 125 years later, we are still going strong. Prime South is constantly bringing innovative and convenient banking solutions to our growing communities. And our customers, well, they are the real MVPs. In the bank or on the field, Prime South's game face is always on for you. Prime South Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. 
Automaha Motors of Hinesville is the home of the $1,995 vehicle. So if you're in need of a vehicle that you can afford, come see Brett or Madre at Automaha Motors. Conveniently located across from the new shopping center on your way into Hinesville and only 20 minutes from Jessup. Whether you need a car, truck, or SUV, come see Madre or Brett at Automaha Motors in Hinesville and let them put you in your next vehicle. Give them a call at 912-368-1144. This is Wayne County Baseball on WIFO-FM Jackson. National Anthem here at Howard Low Warren, and we're set for baseball here in Wayne County, Locust Grove. Much anticipated matchup when the schedule came out. Again, we'll see them again later in the year up in Atlanta at SunTrust Park. That game set for Saturday, April the 7th. Wayne comes in 4 0. Locust Grove comes in at 3 1. Nolan Crisp, a very talented pitcher, will be on the mind for the Wildcats when they take the field. But right now, their leadoff batter, Luke Wellborn, will step in. Followed by Josh Newton, second baseman, and then Gavin Lee, the third baseman. Anybody gets aboard is the pitcher himself, Nolan Crisp. Defensively for Wayne County. Down the plate, David Mosley. At third base, James Marlin. At shortstop, Cooper Martin. Second baseman, Griffin Boykin. First baseman, Ford Townsend. In center field, it's Brad Thomas. In left field, it is Dan Starling. In the right field, it is Cade Lambert. Wayne County, Locust Grove. In a rematch of state playoff action last year, Wayne County won two out of three, went on to play in the state finals in Savannah against Loganville. Loganville won that series two games to none and won the 5A state championship. Wayne County, Locus Grove both trying to advance this year to that state championship round. And again, this could be a preview of a statewide matchup again this year. Both teams very talented. Both teams with most of their starters back from last year. And it should be a fun matchup. Again, Locust Grove I wanted to come down and see what the atmosphere here at Howard Bow 1 was all about as we brought a lot of people up to Locust Grove and the atmosphere up there for that state playoff game was electric. And people still talk about it. And we'll be talking about it for years since it was just a lot of fun. A great atmosphere. A great crowd. And both fans' support really got into the ball game back and forth. So, good battles. Looking for a good battle here tonight. And we'll see how it goes with Wayne County's JT Crosby on for his second start of the year. First start didn't last as long as he would like. Struggled a little bit, so he didn't really have his good stuff. But again, when he's on, he's as good as they come. Senior pitcher JT Crosby on the mound here against Locust Grove. And I'm sure Locus Grove players are familiar with J.T. Crosby. J.T. Crosby pitched well against them up at Locus Grove. So we're glad you're with us here on Big Dog Country SM 105.5, the World Wide Web. Should be a good high school baseball game. And Luke Wellborn leads it off. The right fielder for the Wildcats. Left-handed batter. Capable of laying down a bunt at any time. Good leadoff batter for the Wildcats. Here we go. It should be fun. Wayne County and Locust Grove, much anticipated. Hopefully they'll live up to its billing here tonight at the boat. The boat. Crowd still gathering as we speak. Come on out and enjoy a good baseball game. 
First pitch of today's game. Here it comes. And it's in for a strike. No balls, one strike from J.T. Crosby. Wayne County, Locust Grove. We are underway. J.T. ready to pitch. And this is outside. Ball one. One and one. One ball, one strike. Nobody on, nobody out. Just underway. Top of the first, Wayne County, Locust Grove. Senior J.T. Crosby ready. The Osby ready. The pitch pretty in. The strike two. One and two. One and two. <laughs> One ball, two strikes. We got better. We got well bored. JT's one two pitch. Don't break your pitch. It's over ground ball. Down the first base line. JT steals and throws in time, and there's one away. JT quickly off the mound. It was a slow ground ball down the first base line. JT steals it cleanly. Throws to Cole Townsend. One up, one down. Here's Josh Newton, the second baseman. Come join us. Plenty of food in the concession stand. Glad you're with us on the big dog, 105.5. JT set and ready to pitch. And that's in for a strike. Good fastball. No balls, one strike. Kevin Lee, the third baseman. Again, if anybody gets aboard, it'll be Nolan Chris, the pitcher who bats clean up. And Wayne County sporting a brand new uniform tonight. First time. Good looking uniform. White shirts and white pants, but a nice design across the front with big Wayne written it. And again, black and gold letters and numbers on the front and back. There's a ball, one ball, one strike to Josh Newton. Right handed batter for the Wildcats. The pitch. That ball is raced into right field, but right field, Cade Lambert for out number two. Cade Lambert had him played shallow, makes the line drive catch. Two up, two down for the Wildcats. Here's Gavin Lee, the third baseman. Gavin Lee. Gavin Lee, right handed batter. In the three spot, Nolan Crisp, the pitcher on deck. Just underway, top of inning number one, no score. Wayne County and the Wildcats at Locust Grove. JT ready the pitch. That ball is hit high and deep to left, but hooking foul and out of play. The ball is one strike to Gavin Lee. And Nolan Chris for the cleanup spot, then Owen Merch at the DH for the left fielder Turley, and then Austin Moody, the center fielder, Cole Vickers, the first baseman, J.K. Lee, the catcher, and C.K. Upchurch, the shortstop. That's your lineup for the Locust Grove Wildcats. He's pitch inside and hits Gavin Lee in the back. So a hit batter for two down, nobody aboard. Play number 17, pitcher Nolan Chris. And brings up pitcher Nolan Chris. Not only a good pitcher, but an excellent hitter for the Wildcats as well. All around good player. So JT frustrated, had a two up, two down inning going, and Plunks leaning in the back on a breaking pitch, it just did not break. Stretch in the pitch, and it's inside and high. Ball one, one and over. The D.H. Owen Merchant on deck for the Wildcats. And we're glad you're with us on the Big Dog 105.5 and the World Wide Web, Lane County Yellow Jacket Baseball. J.T. ready the pitch. And that freaking pitch misses low. Ball two. Two balls, no strikes. The runner at first, two down. Throw to first base, runner back in time. Four times and holding the runner on at first base. And forward at first, Griffin Boykin at second. James and Mama over at third with JT on the mound and Cooper Martin at short. Throw to first again, runner back in time. Two balls, no strikes, two outs. Senior pitcher JT Crosby on the mound for Wayne County. JT ready, the pitch. And they popped him up. Right field, pretty well hit. Cade Lambert drifts over in foul territory. Does he have a play? He did, but he can't make it. He drops the ball up against the fence in foul territory. 
So it's a two ball, one strike count. Can he have plenty of room? If he holds on, it's out number three, but he just can't hold on to the ball. So Nolan Chris is still alive at two balls, one strike. We'll see how that comes back to haunt if it does. Stretch in the pit, stretch in the pit. A pie, ball three, three and one to Nolan Chris. Again, on deck, designated hitter, Owen Merchants. Three balls, one strike, two eyes. Top of the first, no score. Wayne County, Locust Grove. Crosby checks the runner at first. The 3 1 pitch. That ball hit well to left field. James Marlin. And it's a foul ball. Chess missed extra bases. Hits about two inches to the left of the foul line. Jackets get a break. Chris hit it well. Hit it deep. Ricochets off the fence, but it's a foul ball. And the count runs full. Three balls, two strikes to Nolan Chris. And JT Crosby ready. Three balls, two strikes. Payoff pitch, runners going. And the ball is popped up. Short to right field. Cage Lambert says he's got this one, and he does. And he even comes to the end. In the inning, they come up empty. No runs, no hits, no errors. A man left. He goes to the bottom of the first, no score at Howard Bowen. No runs, no errors. The manager and staff at First Franklin Financial support our Wayne County Yellow Jacket baseball team and hope they hit a home run every game. You, too, will hit a home run when you visit us, the friendly fashion folks at First Franklin Financial at 1074 North Macon Street. Call us at 427-4237 or apply online at 1ffc.com. One of the worst feelings in the world is when your vehicle lets you down and leaves you stranded on the side of the road. We'll put your mind at ease because Grant Lewis Towing is available 24 hours a day with towing service locally or long distance. When you need a tow, call a pro. Call Grant Lewis Towing at 427-0857. You heard right. When you need a tow, call the pro and put your mind at ease. No time to stress. It's no longer a mess. Help us just a phone call away. Grant Lewis Towing, over 40 years experience and available whenever needed. Call Grant Lewis Towing for all your towing needs. Again, the number 427-0857. Call Grant Lewis by request. It's the number to call, 427-0857. Colby Dan and the folks at McCurry Pressure Washing want to wish the Yellow Jacket baseball team much success this season on their march to the state championship. McCurry Pressure Washing brings many years of professional experience cleaning restaurant exhaust hoods, kitchens, and bathrooms. So instead of calling an out-of-town service, call the local family-owned business with more than 20 years of experience. Call Colby at 912-586-6171. That's 586-6171. McCreary Pressure Washing, License and Insurance. Wayne County Baseball brought to you by State Farm Agent Robin Eubanks, Sheffield's Brooks and Pork Shop, and Bibble's Family Restaurant. After this, they're staying down in Glen County. We got several games over the weekend down there. That baseball tournament done in Glen. Cooper Barton, Griffin Boykin, four times and leads off against Nolan Crisp. If anybody gets aboard, it's James and Maldon. Maldon was three for three, three against for three Nolan Crisp. Nolan Crisp in that second game up there in State Plows. He's really one of the few people that had success against this right handed pitcher. See how Wayne County plays here in the bottom of inning number one. Defensively for the Wildcats, Nolan Crisp on the mound. Behind the plate is J.K. Lee, first baseman Cole Vickers. Second baseman Josh Newton. Third baseman Gavin Lee. In center field, Austin Moody. Left field, Jerry Turley. And in right field, Luke Wellborn. Cooper set in ready to step in. Shortstop, Cooper Martin. The pitch. And that's in for a strike. No balls, one strike. Fastball by Nolan Crisp. And he works fast, so again, got to be ready to roll here. Nolan ready, time call. Cooper wants time, he gets time, but that second pitch. 
and time was called. Low balls, one strike. Nolan Crisp, C-R-I-S-P, in his junior season at Lucas Grove. The pitch, swing and a miss, strike two, low and two. No balls, two strikes, nobody on, nobody out. The ears are blind in the 0-2 pitch. Get around ball. Foul ball. It's called foul ball. I'm sorry, foul ball. Just missed the third base bag, and it stays 0-2. That would have been a good start if he could have got over that bag for a fair ball. But it's 0-2 to Cooper Martin. Lucas Grove in for a first to two this season in the regular season. Nolan Chris Ready to pitch. And there's a ground ball hit the right side. Second baseman's got it. Throws the first and pulls him off the bag. And Cooper Martin beats it out. Second baseman throws it wide. And there's a runner at first base. So an infield error on the second baseman. Griffin Boykin to the plate. Cooper with a good lead at first base. Stretching the pitch. Cooper hits a fly ball, right field. Right fielder drifts over, makes the catch. And there's one away. Right down the right field line. Right fielder, well born, able to make the play. One away. Here's four towns. Thompson steps in with a runner on, one down. In the bottom of the first, no score. Nolan Chris Ready, the stretch, and the pitch. In the top side, ball one, one and two. James Marlin, third baseman on deck. Nolan Chris stares in, ready. The 1 0 pitch. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch, one and one. One ball, one strike, one out. Cooper Martin leads at first base. The 1-1 one, one pitch, down low, ball two, two and one. Just underway when the bottom of the number one, no score. Cooper Martin at first base, one down. Two balls, one strike. Two one pitch. If there's a fly ball hit well to right, but not deep. Wellborn is there, and there's two away. Two outs, runner first. Here's James Modlin. Junior third baseman James Marlin steps in and he had success against Nolan Crisp up at Locust Grove. See how it fares here to throw the first runners back in time. Locust Grove in a gray and blue uniform, gray jersey, gray pants, white cap. Blue lettering across the front and back, and all wearing blue socks. The pitch to James, and is down low. Ball one. One and oh. One ball, no strikes, two outs. Nolan Chris, the junior pitcher on the mound for Locust Grove. The stretch. And the pitch. And is grounded foul off his foot. And the count evens at one ball, one strike. Cade Lambert on deck, the right fielder. Then JT Crosby, the pitcher. Dan Starling in the left. David Mosley, the catcher. Brad Thomas, the center fielder. That's your Wayne County lineup here this evening against the Wildcats of Locust Grove. One ball, one strike, two outs. Cooper is still at first base. The stretch.
catch. Now they get it picked off. Throw to second. Can they get in? They will not. Cooper steals second base. Chris went to first. Cooper took off a second and beats it on the speed. Stolen base. Runner at second base. Two outs. Bottom of the first. James Marlin at the plate with a one ball, one strike count to it. One ball, one strike, two eyes. Coach McDonald at third. Coach Jordan Mullins at first base. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Breaking pitch in. Pretty strike two. One and two. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Nolan Crisp is ready. The stretch. One, two. Breaking pitch. Swing and miss. Strikes him out. Inning comes to an end. In the inning, Wayne County. No runs. No hits. One. Look at the there. One runner on base. One in the pitch. Scoreless at the boat. Wayne County. No runs. No hits. One air. On the left. your medical needs, Tim's Home Medical on South First Street and Jessup has you covered. Oxygen, CPAP equipment, wheelchairs, walkers, hospital beds, plus specialty medical equipment from a local company that cares. Tim's Home Medical can handle Medicare, Medicaid, and private insurance billing, as well as family records for tax purposes. Tim's Home Medical, owned and operated by Tim Sloan, 918 South First Street in Jessup. Tim's Home Medical. Call 385-2490. 385-2490. Hurricanes Convenience Store and Cafe invites everyone to stop by before or after the game. It's a one-stop store with just about everything you need to get through the day. Whether it's a fill-up of gasoline or a snack or delicious breakfast Monday through Friday at Hurricanes Cafe, yes, Hurricanes is that one-stop shop convenience store and is ready to serve you. Hurricanes is locally owned and operated by the Twilley family. Ron and the gang invite you to stop by. If you need to call, the number is 912-294-2276. It's Hurricanes, a hurricane you run to and not from. Hurricanes Convenience Store and Cafe, ready to serve you. Does your car or truck need a paint job, body repair, or even a tow? Call the experts at Lightfoot Body Shop, family-owned and operated since 1978, where the courteous, knowledgeable, and professional staff will meet all your needs at Lightfoot Body Shop, where everybody is somebody. Call us today. Let us take the stress away. We are located at 1526 Rain and Road, just past the dollar store. Give us a call at 385-6193. That's 385-6193, Lightfoot Body Shop. Wayne County Baseball brought to you by Voice and Grain and Steel, Mobile Concrete, and All Day Roofing. Owen Merchant, the DH, leads off here in the second against JT Crosby. JT's pitch is high, ball 1 0. Oh. Merchant and Austin Moody, the center fielder, and then Kyle Vickers, the first baseman. Top of the second, no score. Wayne County, Locust Grove. JT's second pitch, down low, ball 2 2 0. Oh. Two balls, no strikes. The 2-0 pitch. And that's in for a strike, two and one. Two balls, one strike. JT's 2-1 pitch. Breaking pitch, pretty. Strike two, two and two. Two balls, two strikes to Owen Merchant, the DH, right-handed batter for the Wildcats. JT Crosby ready. Now the batter steps up and calls for time. Two balls, two strikes. The 2 2 pitch. High ball three, three and two. And JT hit a batter back in the first inning. Payoff pitch. Three balls, two strikes. Three two pitch. A pie, ball four, lead off walk to start the second for Lucas Pro. Number 14, center fielder Austin Moody. Here's Austin Moody, center fielder for Wayne County. So the leadoff man on. We'll see how the Wildcats want to play here in the top of any number two. And 
looks like they've got a gold chain around the neck that's going to be have to take it off. Again, no jewelry allowed in high school baseball. Players know it, but they all try it and try to disguise and hide it from those umpires. But some see it, some don't. But this home plate umpire saw the gold chain and, again, has to be taken on. It's really a safety precaution more than anything else. But it is a rule in high school baseball. You cannot wear necklaces, rings, things like that. So the bracelet is taken off, or the necklace, I should say, taken off, and Moody back in the batter's box. Runner at first base, nobody out. Top of the second, no score. J.T. Crosby, Wayne County, looking for the double play ball, the pitch. And that stays up high, ball one, one and up. One ball, no strikes. Runner at first base, nobody out. We're in the second inning, top half. Game scheduled for seven. JT Crosby ready, throw to first base, runners back in time. One ball, no strikes. JT Crosby ready to stretch in the one of the throw to first base, runners back in time. One ball, no strikes. Runner leads to first base. JT Crosby ready to stretch the pitch. Nice breaking pitch in for a strike, one and one. One ball, one strike on deck is Kyle Vickers, first baseman for the Wildcats. Leadoff man on, leadoff walk. JT Crosby ready, the stretch and the pitch. Swing and a miss strike two, one and two. One ball, two strikes. Runner leads at first base. JT Crosby ready to stretch the one two pitch. Just missed outside, two and two. Two two count. Austin Moody, center fielder. JT ready with a 2 2 pitch. Breaking pitch. Oh, strike three. And there's one away. First strike guy for JT Crosby. Here comes Cole Vickle. Vickers, Cole. Cole Vickers, the first baseman. JT Crosby with the stretch, the pitch, and it's a chopper foul over by the on deck circle. And it's a no ball, one strike count to Vickers. Just underway, we're in the second, no score. Wayne County, Locust Grove. First of two meetings this year. You're going to play them up at Atlanta SunTrust Park on Saturday, April the 7th. Don't have a time on that game as of yet. Again, there's four games that day. No balls, one strike, one out. Time called as Vicker steps out. Crosby ready, Vickers ready. The one pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. Oh and two. No balls, two strikes, one out. Runner leads at first. The 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Back in the 
back to back strikeouts for JT Crosby here in the second. Brings up JK Lee. J.K. Lee steps to the plate. Right-handed batter. J.T. ready to stretch. And the pitch. A pod ball one. One and over. Lead off walk, still at first base, two strikeouts. Moody and Vickers both down on strikes. And the catcher, J.K. Lee, the batter on deck is the shortstop, C.J. Upchurch. J.C. Crosby ready, the stretch. The pitch, runners going. Ball is hit right where the second baseman would have been. Good hit and run. Here's the throw to third. It is not in time. Ricochets away from James Marlin. Allows J.K. Lee to head to second base. Nice hit and run by the Wildcats. Hit it right where the second baseman went to cover the bag and went right through the hole at the right side of the infield. Runners at second and third for Locust Grove. Two down, number nine hitter, C.J. Upchurch, the shortstop. Tyler Maddox. Tyler Maddox going to run for the catcher, J.K. Lee. So Lucas Grove pushes the right button on the hit and run. Again, Griffin went to cover the bag. If he stays right there, it's an out. But it went right through the hole. And the runners at second and third. Two down for C.J. Upchurch. Upchurch, and we're not the nine hitter. So the leadoff walk now at third base. J.T. Crosby and Wayne County just lead out number three. J.T. Reddy, the pitch. Breaking pitch in for strike one. No balls, one strike. Luke Wellborn, the top fielder on deck, the right fielder. J.T. Crosby from the stretch. Yeah, one pitch. Nope. Left throw to second base, and the runner's back in time. Cooper snuck in, but Crosby did not throw it. Maddox, the courtesy runner, back in time. No balls, one strike, the pitch. Breaking pitch up high, ball one, one and one. One ball, one strike, two outs, no score. We're in the second, top half. Locust Grove threatening with runners at second and third. And their number nine here, C.J. Upchurch at the plate with a one ball, one strike count. Senior pitcher J.T. Crosby stares in, gets the sign from his pitcher David Mosley. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Fly ball, left field. Gan Starling is there. Inning comes to an end. In the inning, they come up empty. No runs, one hit. No errors, two men left. We're at the bottom of the second. It remains Wayne, zero. Locus Grove, zero. One Communication is the key when it comes to business, especially your financial business. That's why Altima Ha Federal Credit Union makes communication a priority, making banking easier for you. AFCU has money to lend, and it's easy to apply online or with a quick phone call. Your local credit union with open lines of communication. Altima Ha Federal Credit Union. Jessup, Scriven, and Ludowisi. Visit altimaha.org. Equal housing lender, federally insured by NCUA. Wayne Canyons are digging the pig and shopping through their hometown local grocery store located at 440 West Cherry Street in Jessup. Yes, Piggly Wiggly is open seven days a week for your convenience and every day has great discount prices on just about every item in the store. Whether it's dairy products, meat, household items, food from the deli, cakes from the bakery, you name it, the pig has got it with items flying off the shelves. Piggly Wiggly and Jessup, where every day is discount day at the pig. Piggly Wiggly and Jessup, the hometown grocery store, for the Wayne County's favorite place to shop for groceries. Wayne County is digging the pig. Piggly Wiggly located at 440 West Cherry Street in Jessup. At Bronter's Landfill, keeping our communities safe is the most important thing we do. 
our local team of environmental managers, engineers, and scientists ensure that the long-term management of the landfill is safe for our workers, customers, and the environment. To learn more, visit our website at www.broadhurstlandfill.com or you can go to the website, click Visit Us, and sign up for a tour to see firsthand how we operate. We hope to see you soon. Wayne County Baseball brought to you by Five South Bank, Grant Lewis Towing, and Tim's Home Medical. Cade Lambert leads it off for Wayne County. We followed by J.T. Crosby and then Gant Starlin. Nolan Crisp ready for his second inning award. The pitch. And it's outside ball one, one and oh. Cade Lambert right fielder for Wayne County. The pitch. Popped up foul, but out of play. One and one. One ball, one strike. Nobody on, nobody out. We're in the second, bottom half. Score is 0 0. Wayne County, Locust Grove. Much anticipated matchup when the schedule came out. Again, we played them last year in the semifinals of the 5A state playoffs. Lambert wants time as Nolan takes too much time and steps out. One ball, one strike. Wayne County batting here, bottom of inning number two. Nolan Chris ready the pitch. And that's called ball two, two and one. Pretty good looking pitch there. Two balls, one strike to pitch. All right, that's it for a strike, two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Nolan Christmas, 2-2 two, two pitch. And what do we got here? What do you call a bonk? That's what I'm saying. How do you call a bonk with nobody on base? Here's the pitch. Chopper to short. Shortstop with it. Long throw to first base in time. There's one up, one down. The second for Wayne Jack. Brings up pitcher J.T. Crosby. J.T. Crosby ready. Nolan Crisp ready. Here's the line, the pitch. So on and fouled away. No balls, one strike. Gant Starling left fielder on deck. Anybody gets a board catcher, David Mosley. And Lucas Grove hit down to the baseball at the beach. We will play Gainesville tomorrow, is what I've been told. But they're playing at the new Adam Wainwright field with a deal. Everybody I've talked to says it's a gorgeous complex. Looking forward to seeing it. But we're going to play Glenn this year. No balls, two strikes. The O2 pitch. Down low, one and two. One ball, two strikes, one out. The pitch, ground ball, shortstop on the first in time, two away. Two up, two down for Dan Starling, left fielder. Steps in. Getting started left field tonight for Wayne County. Here's the line, the pitch. And that's in. First strike, no balls, one strike. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Swing on this strike two, 0 and 2. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Time call. Two pitch. A five ball, one, one and two. One ball, two strikes, two outs. No score, the pitch. Come on and foul back. 
can't stay alive at one and two. One ball, two strikes. Chris wants a new baseball. Umpire will oblige. One ball, two strikes, two outs. The one two pitch. A five ball, two, two and two. Not sure how long we'll see Nolan Crisp in this ball game. Again, it's early in the season. And they're going to pitch it three or four innings, what I've been told. Breaking pitch. Just missed. One or three and two. Not sure where that ball was. Nolan Crisp was halfway to the dugout. <laughs> three, two pitch. That's strike three. Inning comes to an end. Three up, three down. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on base. We head to the third. It remains Wayne zero. Locust Grove zero. Wayne Memorial Hospital wishes our Yellow Jacket baseball team the best of luck this season. We appreciate all of your hard work and dedication. And just like our student athletes, we strive to be the best. Teamwork is the hallmark of any successful organization. And at Wayne Memorial Hospital, teamwork is our middle name. At Wayne Memorial Hospital, we work together to make you feel like an all-star. Wayne Memorial Hospital, the official health care provider of the Yellow Jackets. It's not just a home or a car. It's the five hours you spend in the kitchen mastering your epic wing recipe and a three-hour family road trip to the tailgate party. While other insurance companies just see them as a bundle or combo, State Farm agents see your home and car as the time and memories you put into them. I'm Robin Eubanks, and I understand what things really mean to you, and I'm here to help give you the protection they deserve. Talk to me today for your home and auto insurance. And we want to wish the Jackets another winning season. You make us proud. The February deals are hot at Liberty during Ram Truck Month. Save up to 13000 on new 2017 Ram Trucks. Save up to 9000 on 2017 Chrysler 300 and up to 7000 on 2017 Chargers. Drive one home today with 0% financing for up to 72 months. No money down. And your first payment isn't until May 2018. Liberty Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram across from Walmart in Hinesville or shop online at LibertyChrysler.com. Limited time offers with approved credit. All offers like tax value and dot fees. See Liberty for complete details. Wayne County Baseball brought to you by First Prince of Financial, Mikey's Body Shop, and Ultima Home Owners. Top of the third, top of the order up for Locust Grove. Luke Wellborn leads it off. He'll be followed by Newton and then Gavin Lee. No runs, one hit for Locust Grove. No runs, no hits for Wayne County after two complete here at Howard Bow Walk. Just as we anticipated, quick game. Three up, three down for the most part. The pitcher is dominating. Here's Luke Wilborn, who binds out to the pitcher back in the first inning. Pitches outside, ball one. One and up. The next broadcast, Tuesday, we head to Camden County to take on the Camden County Wildcats. Pitches down low. Ball two, two and up. Oh. Two balls, no strikes, nobody on. They'll be out top of inning number three, the 2 0 pitch. Little chopper right side. Griffin Boykins got it, throws the first in time, and there's one away. One up, one down for Josh Newton. He lined out to right fielder Cade Lambert back in the first inning. Cade had him played shallow, line drive right to him. The lights taking full effect now. The pitch up high, ball one, one and up. One ball, no strikes. Gavin Lee on deck. JT Crosby the plate to stretch the pitch. And it's in for a strike, one and one. One ball, one strike, the one one pitch. And that's low, ball two, two and one. Two balls, one strike. 
Josh Newton, the batter, second baseman for the Wildcats. The stretch in the 2 1 pitch. Up high, ball three, three and a half. He must have. I guess he called it a strike, two and two. And the 2 2 pitch. Inside. Three and two. Who can I? The Josh Newton. Three balls, two strikes, one out, nobody aboard. Top of the third. JT ready with the payoff pitch. And it stays up high. Ball four. One out walk given up by JT Crawford. Second walk in the game by JT. The law to hit batter and two strikeouts thus far. Has only given up one hit. That's a J.K. Lee on the hit and run. Back in the second. Gavin Lee got hit by a pitch his first time up. Throw to first base. Runners back in time. Zero zero, top of the third. Runner at first base, one down. JT ready, the stretch. And the pitch, runners going, pitch down outside, throw down to second base, not in time. Goes in the center field or Brad Thomas right there to back it up. And a stolen base for Josh Newton. One ball, no strikes to Gavin Lee. Nolan Crisp on deck for Locust Grove. One ball, no strikes, one eye at the stretch. The pitch it is down low. Ball two, two and up. Two balls, no strikes, one out. Runner at second base. The 2 0 pitch. Instead of bump throw to second base, runners back in time. Two balls, no strikes. The 2 0 pitch. This is low, ball three, three and up. Three balls, no strikes, one out. Three oh pitch. And uh, low ball four. Back to back walks in the third by JT Crosby. Third walk given up. Here's Nolan Chris. Dangerous situation. Two on, one out, and the cleanup hitter at the plate. The opposing pitcher at that. Chance to help his own cause. And he laced one to right, laced one to left, but both foul. And then flat out to right field. Dangerous hitter right here. Be careful. Here's the stretch and the pitch. And that's low ball one. One and oh. Time call. Here comes Barrett Bryant out to try to calm JT down. Get himself in a heap of trouble. Back to back walks here in the third after a ground ball to second. So Barrett will try to calm the sea here and try to calm JT's nerves. Owen Merchant, the DH on deck. Runners at first and second. One out. Top of the third, no score. Wayne County, Locust Grove here on a Friday evening at Howard Bow Warren. And a pretty good crowd on hand for tonight's game. Nolan Chris steps back in. Head in the count, one ball, no strikes. Conversation between JT and Barrett comes to an end. Stretch in the pitch. 
That ball to third, down to second for one, and that's all we're going to get. Griffin able to keep his foot on the bag. Marlin threw to the wrong side of the bag, so a great play by Marlin on a hard hit ball at third. Gets the lead runner at second. Nice job by Griffin to hold on to the bag to get the force out. Two down, runners at first and third, still scoreless for Owen Merchant, the DH. Now the coach for Locust Grove is questioning the call at second base. Again, it was a wide throw, and Griffin had to reach across the bag to prevent that ball from going into center field and did a great job of keeping his foot on the bag to get a force out at second. And James threw, it's on the mark, it's probably a double play ball. But again, he threw to the wrong side of the bag. Griffin reached across the bag and kept his foot on the bag. That from the home or from the second base umpire. Coach at third saw it a different way, but the out will stand. Gonna get a runner at first base. Number five. So a runner first, a runner third. And at the plate is the DH Owen Merchant. Two on, two odds. JT and Wayne kind of with a chance to dodge a bullet here and get out of this unscathed. The stretch in the pitch. Down low, ball one. One and oh. One ball, no strikes. Two outs. Runners lead first and third. JT Crosby stares in. Has the sign. The 1 0 pitch. Down low. Nice block by catcher David Most. Prevents a run there. Two balls, no strikes. Something he did all last year. And just an excellent defensive catcher behind the plate. Two balls, no strikes, two outs. Marchant, back in the batter's box. It's Marchant, not Marchant, I'm sorry, Marchant. Two balls, no strikes, two outs. JT Crosby ready. And now time calls, the batter steps out. Runners first and third, two down, score this game. Now the catcher, Dave Mosley, going through the defensive signals here. Let's see if they send the runner at first base. Two balls, no strikes, two outs. The stretch in the pitch. Round ball, hit the short. Cooper Martin's got it, and it will take it on a set to the second base to end the inning. In the inning, they come up empty. No runs, no hits, no errors. They strand two. It's the bottom of the third. It remains Wayne zero, Locust Grove zero. Sheffield's Trojan Sports Shop is ready for the season. If you're looking for your favorite team's apparel, Sheffield's is the place to be. Sheffield's is your Under Armour location, has specials on shirts and shoes. Sheffield's has your bats, balls, helmets, sports, anything your team needs. Sheffield's has you covered and is ready to outfit you and your entire team. Sheffield's also helps you after the season with trophies and flags for the year, end of the party, or banquet. Sheffield's Trojan Sports Shop serving Wayne and surrounding counties for years. Whatever the sport, whatever the season, Sheffield's has you covered. Stop by or call at 427-2982. Sheffield's Trojan Sports Shop, a true winner when it comes to sporting goods. Hello, Sybil's Family Restaurant. Hi. Have you been getting a lot of calls from a little boy? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, we have. Well, that's my son. He just loves your place. He always talks about how you have something for everyone. We do have something for everyone with the best fried chicken around. Steaks, burgers, sandwiches, seafood, homemade desserts, and so much more to choose from. Your son keeps calling us looking for everything. Sybil's Family Restaurant, near the intersection of 341 and Highway 84 in Jessup. 
Tim Boykin and Boykin Steel and Crane wish the Yellow Jackets the best of luck this season. And Boykin Steel and Crane's legacy will make your foundation stronger as they specialize in steel fabrication, industrial maintenance, steel erection, crane rentals, and concrete. Boykin Steel and Crane in operation in Justin, Wayne County since 1972. Jim Boykin has taken over the family business and continues to do what's best for his community. Boykin Steel and Crane located on the Savannah Highway in Jessup. The number to call is 427-7751. Boykin Steel and Crane. Again, wishing the Yellow Jackets the best of luck. Wayne County Baseball, brought to you by the Interstate Credit Union, McCrory Pressure Washing, and the Ultimaha Federal Credit Union. Bottom of third, David Mosley leads it off, 8-9-1 for Wayne County. It's a ground ball to short, shortstop boots it, and Mosley beat it out, he will. And air is short to lead off the third for Wayne County. Hard hit ball, but looks like the shortstop is going to make the play, but boots it. And all hands safe as C.J. Upchurch unable to make the play. Here's Brad Thomas. So the second error in the game for Locust Grove, both in the infield. Wayne got on on an error back in the first, but did not score. Chris, one, two, three in the second. Here, a leadoff man on in the third. Bottom half, here's Brad Thomas, the number nine hitter, center fielder for Wayne County. In the top of the order, Cooper Mark. Jack is looking to break the ice here in the bottom half of the third against Nolan Crisp. Brad Thomas showing bunt, and Crisp will step off, and they'll reset. Coach McDonald going to the signs again. Brad Thomas in a sacrifice bunt situation here. Showing bunt. Go to first, and the runner back in time. That. Griffin Clark running for David Mosley. It is Griffin Clark, the courtesy runner for David Mosley. Right, He's stretching the pitch, and the bunt is missed. There's no balls, one strike. Brad Thomas reached out there. Can he get it? Griffin Clark running at first base for Wayne County. No balls, one strike. The pitch. And there's the bunt. Chris will field it. He's going to second. In time. Nice play by the pitcher, Nolan Chris, for the out at second base. And the runner remains at first base. And there's one away. Brings up Cooper Mark. Could be reached on an air back in the first inning, but did not score. <laughs> and Chris off the mind quickly turned into a strike to second base. The pitch, ground ball right side, and the right field for a base hit. And again, coming to third, got to go back. Cooper Martin with a base hit to right field. Runners are first and second. Thomas kept thinking about coming to third, but thought otherwise. But Wayne has their first hit of the game. A base hit by Cooper Martin. Two on, one out. For Griffin Boykin, he flied out to right field back in the first inning. Biggest threat for Wayne County here tonight against Nolan Crisp and Locust Grove. Two on, one out. Infield error short. And now a base hit to right. Pitches in for a strike to Griffin Boykin. Four Townsend on deck. Wayne County Locust Grove here at the bow on a Friday night. No balls, one strike, one out, two men on. The 0 1 to Griffin Boykin. Oh, strike two. Umpires call that consistently. He likes that high strike, but most believe it's not a strike. But when the man in blue says it's a strike, it's a strike. I've seen that three times now on different batters from both teams. So it's 0-2 to Griffin Boykin with four Townsend on deck. Two runners on base. Brad Thomas at second. 
Cooper Martin at first. Bottom of the third, no score. Wayne County, Locust Grove. Nolan Chris stares in. One down. Ahead in the count, 0 and 2. The 0 2 pitch. Big time called as Griffin steps out. No balls and two strikes to Griffin Boykin, second baseman for Wayne County. Junior, second baseman. No balls, two strikes. The 0 2 pitch. Popped up. Foul territory down the first base bag. First baseman there. And he drops the ball. And Griffin Boykin still alive. First baseman keeps patting his shoulder, saying that's all me. Vickers just had it pop out of his glove. So instead of two outs, it's still one down. 0-2 count. Griffin Boykin still breathing. The 0-2. And a check swing, foul back. It remains 0-2 to Griffin Boykin. No balls, two strikes, one out. We're in the third, no score. Wayne threatening, two on, one down. Runner at second base, Brad Thomas. Cooper Martin at first. Griffin waiting on that 0-2 pitch. The stretch. On its way. Fly ball, left field, not deep. Left fielder is there, makes the catch, and gets it in quickly to third, and Brad Thomas has to hold it second base. Two down in the inning. Brings up four towns. Four flat out to right field his first time up. Base hit would be nice, which toward Brad Thomas and we'd get on the board one zero. Nolan Chris ready, bluff throw to second base. Brad Thomas back safely. Two on, two out. Third inning action, no score. The pitch to forward outside. Ball one. One of them. James Marlin would be next. Chris was alive, just one hit. Has struck out two. Has not walked about it. One ball, no strikes. The 1 0 pitch. Runner going to third, and he'll reach third base. And it count, two balls, no strikes to four towns. Stolen base for Brad Thomas, the third. Two balls, no strikes. Forward at the plate. James Marlin on deck. Wayne looking to take the lead here in the bottom half of the third, but need a two-out hit. Time call now as the pitcher on his way to talk to no one crisp. Catcher will join in. The whole infield will join in on the conversation. It has been a good ball game thus far. As advertised, a good pitcher still between J.T. Crosby and Nolan Crisp. Line scores right now for Locust Grove. No runs, one hit. They've committed three errors. Wayne County, no runs, one hit. They've committed no errors up to this point. Conversation is short and sweet by the coach for Locust Grove. He's on his way back to the dugout. Forward back in the batter's box with a two ball, no strike count. Two men on, two men out. Runners at the corners, first and third for Wayne County. And now time called again. They're going to put Ford on at first base, even though there's a runner at first base. They're going to intentionally put Ford on and load him up for James Marlin. So 
of the 2 0 count, they decided to just put him on, load him up for James Mullen, who struck out back in the first inning. But keep in mind, Marvin went three for four against him last year. Here's the stretch in the pitch, and it's in for a strike. No balls, one strike. Nice breaking pitch by Nolan Crisp. No balls, one strike. The 0 1 pitch. And for strike two. No one two. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Base is loaded, bottom of the third. Nolan Crisp takes off one sign, has the sign he wants, the 0 2 pitch. And now he steps off and will reset. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Nolan Chris ready, the pitch, breaking pitch, grounded foul, and it remains 0-2 to James Marlin. Four times in his first intentional pass of the year 2018, had several last year. This one comes with a runner at first base and a runner at third base, and it loads up the bases as they push Cooper Martin down to second base. So forwards at first, Cooper's at second, Brad Thomas at third. James Marvin, cleanup hitter for Wayne County at the plate, behind in the count 0-2 to Nolan Crisp. Crisp is ready, and the pitch. Swing and a miss on a breaking pitch, strikes him out. Inning over. In the inning, Wayne County, no runs, and one hit. One error by Locus Grove, and three runners left on base. we got three in the book. It's a good one. Wayne, zero. Locus Grove, zero. Mobile Concrete and Justin wishes the Yellow Jackets the best of luck in today's game and wants everyone to know that no job is too big or small for Mobile Concrete. Mobile Concrete has locations in Jessup, Baxley, Brunswick, Glenville, Hinesville, Darien, and Ahunty, Georgia. Located at 1705 Highway 341 South in Jessup, just past East Bridge Chevrolet on the left. Seven plant locations for 25 mixtures. Give Mobile Concrete a call today at 427-2330. Mobile Concrete says go Wayne County. Is your checking account broke? These days, every little bit helps. So if you can eliminate monthly checking charges, why wouldn't you? At Interstate Credit Union, we'll help you afford everyday living with our low to no cost products and services. Call 800-822-1124 or go online at iufcu.org to find out how to make checking work for you at Interstate Credit Union. Branches in Jessup, Baxley, Midway, and Hazelhurst. Federally insured by NCUA. All Day Roofing is proud to be sponsored by Wayne County Baseball. I want you to know that they got you covered when it comes to roofing. Locally owned and operated with over 30 years' experience, Eddie Fultz and All Day Roofing is ready to help you as they specialize in all types of roofs. Licensed and insured, give them a call today at 912-266-0252. That's 912-266-0252. That's All Day Roofing, where they've got you covered when it comes to roofing. If you need a roofer of any kind, call All Day Roofing today. Again, the number 912-266-0252. All Day Roofing, wishing the Jack is a state champion. This, year. this is Wayne County Baseball on WIFOFM Jackson. Austin Moody leads it off, pops it straight up in the air four times and has it at first base, and there's one down. Home run in the elevator shaft, but this one finally comes down from the sky, and Ford makes the catch for out number one. Here's Cole Vickers, strikeout victim back in the second. No score. Wayne County, Locust Grove. Vickers, a strikeout victim back in the second. Each team with just one hit thus far. The pitch down low, ball one. One and oh. One ball, no strikes, one out. Top of the fourth, JT Crosby, fourth inning of work. Pitch. In for a strike, one and one. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Inside, ball two, two and one. Two 
balls, one strike, one out. The 2 1 pitch. And first try, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, one out. The 2 2 pitch. Round ball, left side, base hit, left field. The one out single for Cole Vickers. Second hit in the game for the Wildcats. Comes with one down in the top of the fourth. Here's J.K. Lee, who had a hit to run single to right field back in the second. The other hit for the Wildcats. Two singles thus far, given up by J.T. Cross, by J.T. Cross, but to walk to three, hit a batter, and struck out two. There have been no errors in the field. The pitch outside, ball one, one and oh. Game schedule seven. We're in the top of the fourth. Scoreless. Wayne County zero. Locust Grove zero. Then a preview of what could come later in the year in state playoff action. Met last year. Could meet again this year. JT ready is a pitch. That's inside. Ball two. Two and up. Two balls, no strikes, one out. Runner leads at first base. JT Crosby stares in, has the sign, throws the first runner back in time. Two balls, no strikes, one out. Senior JT Crosby stares in. David Mosley flashes a sign, setting ready. The 2-0 pitch, runners going, throw down second base. This one is in time. They pull him out. Great throw by David Mosley. Sweet tag by Griffin Boykin. There's two outs in the end. Two away. And it's a two-ball, one-strike count. To J.K. Lee, the 2 1 pitch. Call strike two, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. The 2 2 pitch. Swung on and foul back, and it remains even at two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. No score. We're in the fourth. Top half. The 2 2 pitch. In for a strike. Ends the inning. In the inning. No runs. One hit. No error. But nobody left on base. We go to the bottom of the fourth. We're still scoreless. Wayne zero. Let this grow zero. When you become a customer at Prime South Bank, you become part of a team that has your back and is with you every step of the way in achieving your financial goals. Our doors opened in 1891. 125 years later, we are still going strong. Prime South is constantly bringing innovative and convenient banking solutions to our growing communities. And our customers, well, they are the real MVPs. In the bank or on the field, Prime South's game face is always on for you. Prime South Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Audubaza Motors of Hinesville is the home of the $1,995 vehicle. So if you're in need of a vehicle that you can afford, come see Brett or Madre at Audubaza Motors. Conveniently located across from the new shopping center on your way into Hinesville and only 20 minutes from Jessup. Whether you need a car, truck, or SUV, come see Madre or Brett at Audubaza Motors in Hinesville and let them put you in your next vehicle. Give them a call at 912-368-1144. 368-1144. The manager and staff at First Franklin Financial support our Wayne County Yellow Jacket baseball team and hope they hit a home run every game. You, too, will hit a home run when you visit us, the friendly fashion folks at First Franklin Financial at 1074 North Macon Street. Call us at 427-4237 or apply online at 1FFC.com. 
Wayne County Baseball, brought to you in part by Hurricanes Convenience Store, Sheriff John Carter, and Damon Famous Fingers and Wings. Work and he's allowed just one hit. He has struck out three thus far. Does not want the batter. He's had a couple of errors behind him, though, in the field. But he's been able to pitch out of any trouble he's that's gotten into. There's a ground ball foul down to third base bag, and there's no balls. One strike to Kate Lambert. He grounded out to short back in the second. No score in the fourth, bottom half. Wayne County, Locust Grove. The pitch popped up right side. Second baseman out on the grass. Says he's got it, and he does. And there's one away. One up, one down in the fourth for Wayne County. Here's J.T. Crosby. Grounded out the short back in the second. And game moving right along as we anticipated it would be with these two good pitchers on the mound. Good pitching dominates good hitting. Especially this part of the season. Nolan Chris was wheeling and dealing, and JT Crosby's wheeling and dealing. Only three hits in the game. They were in the bottom of the fourth inning. Bottom of the fourth. JT Crosby at the play, the pitch, swung on and foul back. Gant Starlin on deck. The pitch and for strike two, one and two. The one two pitch, ground ball hit the second. Second baseman has it, throws the first in time, and there's two away. Brings up Gans Starlin, strikeout victim back in the second. Well, we got a conversation between Coach McDonald and home plate umpire, and not sure what that's about. But it continues here in the bottom of the fourth inning with two out, nobody aboard. So I really don't know what the conversation is about. But it continues here. Home plate umpires explaining something to Coach McDonald this time. And the conversation continues at home plate. And now the conversation ends. Two away in the bottom of the fourth. No score. Wayne County, Lucas Grove, Nolan Crisp has allowed one base hit, a single to Cooper Martin. Swing and a miss to Gans Starlin. No balls, one strike. Three Ks thus far. Swing and a miss, strike two, 0 oh and 2. And Nolan Chris working quickly. Waste little time. Yeah, one of the most dominating pitchers in the state of Georgia. No balls, two strikes, two outs. The 0 2 pitch. Round ball right back to Chris. Chris will throw the first in time. That should be. What are they saying here? Are they saying no pitch? Now they're saying no pitch. That's strange right there. Long hopper back to the mind. Should have been the end of the inning. But the umpire says no pitch. No balls, two strikes. The 0-2 pitch. Three and a miss. Strikes him out. Inning over. 
Three up, three down. I just fired him up even more. In the inning, no runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on base. In the fifth, it remains Wayne zero, the Lucas Grove zero. The worst feelings in the world is when your vehicle will let you die and leaves you stranded on the side of the road. We'll put your mind at ease because Grant Lewis Towing is available 24 hours a day with towing service locally or long distance. When you need a tow, call a pro. Call Grant Lewis Towing at 427-0857. You heard right. When you need a tow, call the pro and put your mind at ease. No time to stress. It's no longer a mess. Help us just a phone call away. Grant Lewis Towing, over 40 years experience and available whenever needed. Call Grant Lewis Towing for all your towing needs. Again, the number 427-0857. Call Grant Grant Lewis by request. The number to call 427-0857. Colby Dent and the folks at McCreary Pressure Washington want to wish the Yellow Jacket baseball team much success this season on their march to the state championship. McCreary Pressure Washington brings many years of professional experience cleaning restaurant exhaust hoods, kitchens, and bathrooms. So instead of calling an out-of-town service, call the local family-owned business with more than 20 years of experience. Call Colby at 912-586-6171. That's 586-6171. McCreary Pressure Washing, License and Insurance. For all your medical needs, Tim's Home Medical on South First Street in Jessup has you covered. Oxygen, CPAP equipment, wheelchairs, walkers, hospital beds, plus specialty medical equipment from a local company that cares. Tim's Home Medical can handle Medicare, Medicaid, and private insurance billing, as well as family records for tax purposes. Tim's Home Medical, owned and operated by Tim Sloan, 918 South First Street in Jessup. Tim's Home Medical. Call 385-2490. 385-2490. Wayne County Baseball, brought to you in part by your Jessup Hickory Wrigley, Republic Services, and Wayne Memorial Hospital. Top of the fifth, C.J. Upchurch going to lead off with about Luke Wellborn, the top of the order, and then Josh Newton. Nine, one and two to face J.T. Crosby. J.T. gets ready for inning number five here at home against Locust Grove. Top of the fifth, game scheduled for seven, zero, zero game. Pitches in for strike. No balls, one strike. C.J. Upchurch, fly out to left field back in the second. Still one pitch, down low, ball one, one and one. And Wayne County off tomorrow, back in action on Tuesday at Camden County and then a trip to Atlanta over the weekend. One ball, one strike, the one-one pitch. And for a strike, one and two. Let me call it a ball. I apologize. I said it was low. 2-1. There's a swing and a miss. I guess it was strike three because it's running the first base. So it was a strike. Then now a swing and a miss and a runner at first base of the ball. Pass the catcher, pass ball. So leadoff man on, instead of a strikeout, one down. Gets by Mosley and a runner at first base. Here's Luke Wellborn. He's 0 for 2. Five out twice. Once to the pitcher, once to the second baseman. JT ready to stretch. And the pitch. And off to foul, but out of play. No balls, one strike. We are in the fifth. Wayne County, Locust Grove, no score. No runs, two hits for Locust Grove. No runs, one hit for Wayne County. Inning number five here at the Howard Bowen Field. J.T. Crosby ready the stretch. Throw the first runner back in time. No balls, one strike. Nobody out. Runner at first base. J.T. Crosby ready to stretch and time called as Wellborn steps out. No balls, one strike. The one pitch up high, ball one. One and one. One ball, one strike. Runner at first base, nobody out. Top of the number five in a 0-0 game. 
J.T. Crosby at the 1-1 one, one pitch. Up high, ball two, two and one. Two balls, one strike. Runner at first base. Two balls, one strike. The two one pitch. Outside, ball three, three and one. Three balls, one strike. Runner first base, nobody out. Can't afford to walk it with two, three, and four coming up. Throw the first runner back in time. And he's already walked three in the game. Hit a batter. Four, three passes. He's dodged all those. We get late in his ball game. Tough break on the strikeout and pass ball to start the inning. Three balls, one strike. Three one pitch. Throw to first instead. Runner back in time. Second baseman Josh Newton on deck. Three balls, one strike. Three one pitch. Call strike two on the corner. Three and two. Three balls, two strikes, full count to Luke Wellborn. J.T. Crosby, payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. Big strikeout for J.T. One down the fifth. Five strikeouts now for J.T. Crosby. Five Ks, here's Josh Newt, lined out to right. And walked and stole base in the third. JT's pitch, ground ball, short roller, barehanded by Cooper, throws, got him, what a play by Cooper Mark. Only way to get him was a barehanded and throw, and he does just that, two away, runner second base. Slow ground ball, dying in the infield grass, and Cooper comes in and barehanded and throws in one motion and gets Newton by a step at second base. Two down, runner at second base. For Gavin Lee, the third baseman. Gavin Lee hit by a pitch back in the first. Walk in the third. A runner in scoring position, two odds, top of the fifth. JT set the pitch in for a strike on a nice breaking pitch. No balls, one strike. No balls, one strike, two outs. Runner leads at second base. No score in the ball game. Fifth inning action. Top half. The 0 1 pitch. Breaking pitch inside. 1 and 1. And David Mosby wants to go on top to JT Cross. One ball, one strike, two odds. Runner at second base. No score in the ball game. Still just three hits in the ball game. Two for Lucas Grove, one by Wayne. All hit singles. One ball, one strike, two outs. JT Crosby, ready, stares in, has the sign, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Swung on and foul back, the one and two. One ball, two strikes, two outs. No score, top of the number five. JT stares in. Gets the sign from David Mosley. It's a one ball, two strike count to Gavin Lee. Nolan Crisp on deck, the one-two pitch. Outside, two and two. 
We definitely want to see Nolan Chris bat in the sixth, not here in the fifth. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. See if JT can get strikeout number six and in the inning. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. The stretch, the pitch. Down low in the dirt, ball three, full count to Gavin Lee. Full count, three balls, two strikes, two outs. JT has the sign, the payoff pitch to Gavin Lee. Fly ball, left field, not deep. Gans Stalin says he's got it, and he does, and the inning comes to an end. In the inning, look at those scoreless. No runs, no hits, no errors. One left. We hit the bottom of the fifth. It remains Wayne zero, Locust Grove zero. Hurricanes Convenience Store and Cafe invites everyone to stop by before or after the game. It's a one-stop store with just about everything you need to get through the day. Whether it's a fill-up of gasoline or a snack or delicious breakfast Monday through Friday at Hurricanes Cafe, yes, Hurricanes is that one-stop shop convenience store and they're ready to serve you. Hurricanes is locally owned and operated by the Twilly family. Ron and the gang invite you to stop by. If you need to call, the number is 912-294-2276. It's Hurricanes, a hurricane you run to and not from. Hurricanes Convenience Store and Cafe, ready to serve you. Does your car or truck need a paint job, body repair, or even a tow? Call the experts at Lightfoot Body Shop, family-owned and operated since 1978. With the courteous, knowledgeable, and professional staff, will meet all your needs at Lightfoot Body Shop, where everybody is somebody. Call us today. Let us take the stress away. We are located at 1526 Rainier Road, just past the dollar store. Give us a call at 385-6193. That's 385-6193. Lightfoot Body Shop. Damon's famous fingers and wings in Wayne County is a popular thing. To dine or take out for one delicious meal and with low great prices, it's simply a steal. Famous for the variety of sauces, mild, wild, and senior inferno. When it's time to eat lunch or dinner, Damon's restaurant's a place to go. Located in the middle of town on West Cherry Street, yes, Damon's famous fingers and wings simply can't be beat. So next time you're hungry and looking for a great meal, head to Damon's restaurant and enjoy a great deal. The number to call is easy, 588-WING, 588-9464, the real thing. Damon's famous fingers and wings, those chicken wings are a very popular. Wayne County Baseball brought to you by State Farm Agent Robin Eubanks, Sheffield's Pro and Sports Shop, and Pibble's Family Restaurant. Nolan Chris will pitch a fifth inning here at Howard Bow Warren Field. Again, he's allowed just one single. He has struck out four batters, does not want the batter. A couple errors behind him, one at first, one at short. Other than that, it's a scoreless ball game. David Mosley, Brad Thomas, Cooper Martin, 8 9 and 1 to face him here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Here's the line, the pitch. And it's up high, ball 1 and 0. Oh. One ball, no strikes to David Mosley. Reached on an air back in the third inning as the shortstop, CJ Upchurch, had trouble with the ground ball. One ball, one strike, 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss. And now they're going to say a bonk again to Nolan Chris. So I don't know what they're doing here, but every now and then he says he bonks. I thought you could only bonk if the runner's on base. So now time calls. Is the pitching coach going to go out and ask the umpire what's the deal here. And the head coach is going to come out and ask as well. So apparently they got the explanation. We'll try to get the explanation at the end of the game with Coach McDonald. But instead of a one two count, it's a one ball, one strike count. Now the home fight umpire is going to talk to Nolan Crisp. And Nolan Chris is doing the same thing I remember one of our pitchers eight years ago when he never got called for a balk in his life. He told him, I've been doing this my whole life since I've been eight years old. 
why all of a sudden is it blocked today? There was Josh Palmer over at Richmond Hill. They called him for a bonk. He never bonked in his life. He said, what are you talking about? I never bonked in my life. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Up high. Ball two. Two and one. Two balls. One strike. The pitch. There's a line drive right field. Base hit to David Moses. Wayne County with their second hit of the game. A leadoff single to start the bottom of the fifth inning. Here's Brad Thomas. He tried to sacrifice Bunt back in the third, and that's when Chris came off the mound and threw a dart to second. Going to get a runner at first base. Chris and Clark going to run for David Mosley. So Wayne County, a leadoff single to start the fifth. It's the third inning we've had the leadoff man on, but have not scored as of yet. Sure, this is a sacrifice front situation again, but again, Chris did such a good job doing it and throwing a dart to second. We'll see how Wayne plays it here. Not showing, but now they show Bunny, they do that. They bunny towards the first baseman, and he drops the ball on hand safe. Another error in the infield by Locust Grove. This one on the first base. He drops the ball, going to tag Brad Thomas down the line. Two men on, nobody out. But Cooper Martin had the base hit back in the third. So Wayne County with a golden opportunity here. Two on, nobody out. Bottom of the fifth inning. Game scheduled for seven. Here's Cooper Martin. Griffin Boykin on deck and then four towns and after that. Chris ready the stretch and the pitch. And another bunt. Chris steals it, throws the first in time, runner through the second and third. A nice bunt by Cooper Martin. Moves the runners over with one down for Griffin Boykin and four towns. And you know it's got to happen here in Griffin Boykin because they're going to intentionally walk four times if he comes to play. Infield drawn in for Griffin. Chance to do some damage. He's flied out twice. Fly ball could score a run here in this fifth inning with a runner at third. The pitch to Griffin. Fly ball, center field, not deep. Are they going to send him? They are. Here comes the throw. Here's the relay throw. He is a dead duck at home plate. Good throw. Relay throw. We remain scoreless going to the sixth inning. Great relay throw by Nolan Chris. And again, that's out number three to end the inning. What a throw by Chris to home plate. Inning over. No runs. One hit. One air. One man left. We go to the sixth. Wayne Zero, Locust Grove Zero. Communication is the key when it comes to business, especially your financial business. That's why Altamaha Federal Credit Union makes communication a priority, making banking easier for you. AFCU has money to lend, and it's easy to apply online or with a quick phone call. Your local credit union with open lines of communication. Altamaha Federal Credit Union. Jessup, Scriven, and Ludowisi. Visit Altamaha.org. Equal housing lender, federally insured by NCUA. Wayne Canyons are digging the pig and shopping at their hometown local grocery store located at 440 West Cherry Street in Jessup. Yes, Piggly Willie is open seven days a week for your convenience, and every day has great discount prices on just about every item in the store. Whether it's dairy products, meat, household items, food from the deli, cakes from the bakery, you name it, the pig has got it with items flying off the shelves. Piggly Willie and Jessup, where every day is discount day at the pig. Piggly Willie and Jessup, a hometown grocery store, where the Wayne County's favorite place to shop for groceries. Wayne County is digging the pig. Piggly Willie, located at 440 West Cherry Street in Jessup. At Bronter's Landfill, keeping our community safe is the most important thing we do. Our local team of environmental managers, engineers, and scientists ensure that the long-term management of the landfill is safe for our workers, customers, and the environment. To learn more, visit our website at www.
broadhurstlandfill.com. Or you can go to the website, click Visit Us, and sign up for a tour to see firsthand how we operate. We hope to see you soon. Wayne County Baseball brought to you by Boykin Crane and Steel, Global Concrete and All Day Roofing. Wayne County going to the bullpen here four times and going to pitch to start the sixth inning. He'll face Nolan Chris, Owen Marchant, and Austin Moody. So a pitching change to start the, the sixth, I should say. The sixth, we're going to the sixth inning. Game scheduled for seven. Nolan Chris 0 for 2, hit into a double play, and fly out to right field. The face is four times and to start the top of the sixth inning in a scoreless game. Line scores, no runs, two hits for Wayne, no runs, two hits for Locust Grove as we go to the final two frames here, sixth and seventh. Good job by J.T. Crosby. There's not a lot of run. Elias just two hits, strikes out five, walks three, hits a batter, but will get no decision. But a good outing for the senior, J.T. Crosby, against a quality opponent, Locust Grove. Here's Nolan Crisp. He'll face four Townsend as they bat in the top of the sixth inning in a scoreless ball game. No score, 0-0 zero, zero, as we go to the sixth inning. Getting glad you're with us here on the Big Dog 105.5 and the World Wide Web. Hope you're enjoying the action. As Nolan Chris, the pitcher, steps in to face four times. Sixth inning action. No runs, two hits on both sides of the ledger. Four errors by the Wildcats, none by Wayne County. Home plate umpire going to clean off home plate before we get started here in the sixth. So four times it comes to the mind. His senior year. He's familiar with these guys as well in state playoff action. Here's a stretch in the pitch, and it's in four strike. No balls, one strike, right down the heart. Four to one pitch. Fly ball right field, trouble, extra bases. Down in the corner. Nolan Chris on his way to second. See if they send him to third. He'll hold at second base of the Sliding double. Chris rips it into the corner. And it's a leadoff double in the sixth for Locust Grove. Here's Owen Marshawn. And we told you he's a good hitter as well. That's why they got him back in cleanup. He crushed that ball down in the corner for a leadoff double. Here's Owen Marshawn. He walked and bounced out the short. Stretch and a bluff throw to second base, and Nolan Crisp is back. So the third hit for the Wildcats, a leadoff double. First extra base hit of this ball game. Forward with the pitch. They squared a bunt and bunt foul and out of play. No balls, one strike. So a leadoff double, first time we've had that tonight. The Wildcats here in the top of the sixth with the golden opportunity. But they got to get it off four times and here they're really four stairs in. No balls, one strike. The 0-1 pitch. They squared a bunt again and bunt foul. It's 0-2. No balls, two strikes. A runner at second base, nobody out. Top of the sixth, Wayne County Lucas Grove here at Howard Bowl One. Ford ready. Another bluff throw to second base, but no one Chris just one step off the bag. He's not going anywhere. No balls, two strikes. Four times and ready. The 0 2 pitch. High ball one, one and two. One ball, two strikes. Nobody out. Runner at second base. 
Tom Call as Rashawn steps out. One ball, two strikes. Four, it's one two pitch. Breaking pitch, got him, strike three, and there's one away. Nice breaking pitch by four towns and one down. And that brings up Austin Moody. Stretching the pitch. Down low, ball one. One and oh. One ball, no strikes, one out. Nolan Chris still at second base, but now one down. They couldn't get the bunt down. That could be big here in his inning. Ford able to come back and get a strikeout. One down, runner still at second. Ford, one ball, no strikes. The 1 0 pitch. Breaking pitch in. For a strike, 1 and 1. One ball, one strike, one out. The 1 1 pitch. 1 and 2. You can't tell that umpire's calling the strike. It doesn't really give a good indication on the strike call. One ball, two strikes, one out. The one-two pitch. Outside, we're going to go to third and makes it to third base. Nolan Chris down at third with one down. Stolen base, that's big. Had that runner at third base with just one down. Counts two balls, two strikes. To Austin Moody. Two balls, two strikes. The 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And there's two away. Big strikeout by four times and on a breaking pitch. And it brings up Cole Vickers, the first baseman. He's had a tough night in the field. He dropped a pop-up, and he dropped the ball, going to tag the runner down the line. But fortunately for him, his pitcher has gotten him out of both situations. But he has a chance to redeem himself with the bat here at Christmas at third with two down, the pitch. And it's outside, ball one. One and oh. Ford looking to strike out the side after giving up a leadoff double to Nolan Crisp. One ball, no strikes, the 1-0 pitch. In for a strike, one and one. One ball, one strike, two outs. The 1-1 pitch. What do you call that? Call it a ball, two and one. Yeah, it just doesn't give any indication. Can't really tell what he's calling. Two balls, one strike, the 2 1 pitch. Swing and a miss by two, two and two. Forward with a chance to strike out the side in the sixth. After giving up a leadoff double and a stolen base to Nolan Chris, he's a third. Two balls, two strikes, two eyes, the 2 2 pitch. Round ball, first baseman's got it. Ford covers and got it, and the inning comes to an end. James Marlin flips the Ford, he covers, inning over. No runs, a big hit, no errors, a man left. Head to the bottom of six, it remains. Wayne, at zero. Lucas Grove, zero. Wayne Memorial Hospital wishes our Yellow Jacket baseball team the best of luck this season. We appreciate all of your hard work and dedication. And just like our student athletes, we strive to be the best. Teamwork is the hallmark of any successful organization. And at Wayne Memorial Hospital, teamwork is our middle name. At Wayne Memorial Hospital, we work together to make you feel like an all-star. Wayne Memorial Hospital, the official health care provider of the Yellow Jackets. 
It's not just the home or a car. It's the five hours you spent in the kitchen mastering your epic wing recipe and the three-hour family road trip to the tailgate party. While other insurance companies just see them as a bundle or combo, State Farm agents see your home and car as the time and memories you put into them. I'm Robin Eubanks, and I understand what things really mean to you, and I'm here to help you give you the protection they deserve. Talk to me today for your home and auto insurance. And we want to wish the Jackets another winning season. We make us proud. The February deals are hot at Liberty during Ram Truck Month. Save up to 13000 on new 2017 Ram Trucks. Save up to 9000 on 2017 Chrysler 300s. And up to 7000 on 2017 Chargers. Drive one home today with 0% financing for up to 72 months. No money now. And your first payment isn't until May 2018. Liberty Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Across from Walmart and Hinesville. Or shop online at LibertyChrysler.com. Limited time offers with approved credit. All offers like tax by loan fees. See Liberty for complete details. Wayne County Baseball brought to you by Prime South Bank, Grant Lewis Towing, and Tim's Home Medical. We head to the bottom of the sixth inning. Nolan Chris goes to the mound for the sixth inning. He'll face four towns and James Marlin, Cade Lambert. Anybody gets aboard? J.T. Crosby, who pitched five good innings. Four gets out of the sixth after the leadoff double. No runs, three hits for the Wildcats. No runs, two hits for Wayne County. We head to the bottom of the sixth inning. Game scheduled for seven. A run or two and three outs and a victory here at Howard Bow Warren. See if we can get to Chris here in the sixth. Four times and come to the plate. Now the pitcher for Wayne County. Flat out to right and got an intentional pass in the third with a runner at first base. That's what you call respect, to load the bases. But it paid off as they got James Marlin on strikeouts. Here's Ford. See if he can get us started here in the sixth. The pitch. And that's in for a strike. No balls, one strike. Breaking pitch. Starts him off with a breaking pitch. The 0-1 pitch. Line, left field, foul. 0-2. No balls, two strikes, way ahead in the count, 0-2 for four towns. No balls, two strikes, bowling Chris ready to wind the 0-2 pitch. Down low, ball one, one and two. One ball, two strikes. Ford ready. The one two pitch. Round ball foul. Past third. It remains one and two to four times. Got to get the leadoff man on here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Get him home, get three outs, and get out of here with a big win and go to five and on the campaign. What? What? Nolan and Chris, we're waiting to see. 
James Marlin being checked by the trainer, Scott White. And White at first base. And time again. The coach wants time to go talk to his pitcher. And now he finally gets time from the home plate umpire. We'll see if they fool Nolan Crisp here. And I believe they are. Breaking the action to score. Wayne one. Local throw zero. Call to the pin. Crossed by Tracy Allen Brown. Back after the timeout. Sheffield's Clothes and Sports Shop is ready for the season. If you're looking for your favorite team's apparel, Sheffield's is the place to be. Sheffield's is your Under Armour location, has specials on shirts and shoes. Sheffield's has your bats, balls, helmets, work, anything your team needs. Sheffield's has you covered and is ready to outfit you and your entire team. Sheffield's also helps you after the season with trophies and flags for the year, end of the party, or banquet. Sheffield's Clothes and Sports Shop serving Wayne and surrounding counties for years. Whatever the sport, whatever the season, Sheffield's has you covered. Stop by or call at 427-2982. Sheffield's Clothes and Sports Shop, a true winner when it comes to sporting goods. Hello, Sybil's Family Restaurant. Hi. Have you been getting a lot of calls from a little boy? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, we have. Well, that's my son. He just loves your place. He always talks about how you have something for everyone. We do have something for everyone with the best fried chicken around. Steaks, burgers, sandwiches, seafood, homemade desserts, and so much more to choose from. Your son keeps calling us looking for everything. Sybil's Family Restaurant, near the intersection of 341 and Highway 84 in Jessup. When a legal battle comes your way, you want the best team in that courthouse. Our jackets take the field prepared and ready to go. And like the jackets, we stay prepared for any legal challenge. Now, we might not answer the phone in the shower, and it might take more than one call, maybe even two. But we're ready to fight for you. If you or your loved one has been injured or you're facing any other legal battle, give us a call. Tracy Allen Brown, 912-427-2504 or www.uneedbrown.com. Wayne County Baseball brought to you by First Franklin Financial, Mikey's Body Shop, and Altamaha Motors. No one Chris done for the day. Again, he's behind 1-0 here. And if it holds up, he'll take the loss. But again, an excellent effort by Nolan Chris. Elias just three hits. Struck out four. The lone big hit, the home run, the four towns. So Wayne leads it 1-0. One, one run, three hits for Wayne. No runs, three hits for Lucas Rowe. New pitcher. Either Roden or Broden. Can't tell if it's an R or B on that lineup card. But Joe Broden, I believe, is the pitcher. He'll face Kate Lambert. Kalijah Hartsaw again running for James Maldon at first base. First time we've seen Kalijah this year. So Collage will run for the first, and he's back in time. Wayne County won Locust Grove zero here. Now time called. That's the base umpire. It launched from the first baseman to buy something. I have no idea what took place over there, but it looks like both the umpire and the coach are talking to the first base. Here's the stretch and the pitch to Cade Lambert. Lambert squares the button, misses strike one. No balls, one strike. No balls, one strike. One nothing ball game in favor of Wayne County on a home run by four times here in the sixth. The pitch, a bunt down the first base side. First base and fields and throws the first in time. And there's one down as Kalaja hits the second base. So Coach McDonald and Wayne County playing for that second run. Sacrifice bunt. And it brings up J.T. Crosby. Again, who pitched well for Wayne County. Five strong innings, five score innings. We'll get no decision on the mound, but again, has a chance to drive in a big insurance run here. Grounded out twice, once to short, once to second. Grab both against Nolan Chris. Breaking pitch in for a strike. No balls, one strike. No balls, one strike. The 0-1 pitch. 
and they throw in the center field. Kalaja didn't see it and has to hold it second base. Again, the pitcher turned around and Lolly popped it over the second base in the shortstop's head, but Kalaja never saw the ball. Or he would have been standing the third. There's no playing in No balls, one strike, one out. JT Crosby at the plate. Here's the stretch. And again, a bluff throw to second base this time. No balls, one strike, one out. The one pitch inside, one and one. One ball, one strike. Again, started on deck for Wayne County. One down in the bottom of the sixth. Wayne one, Locust Grove zero. The pitch down low. Finds it away from the catcher and collides with him for first. So a big run at third base for Wayne County. A big insurance run to make it a 2 nothing lead going to the seventh. It'll be 8-9-1 for Locust Grove in the top of the seventh. The 2-1 pitch. It's by the catcher. Here comes Collage. He'll score. It's a 2 nothing ball game. Wayne County 2, Locust Grove 0 in the bottom of the sixth inning. Big, big insurance run. James Marlin hit by a pitch. Kalaja runs for him, gets the second on a sacrifice bunt by Caden Lambert. Comes to third on a wild pitch, scores on a wild pitch. And that pitch down low, ball 40, J.T. Cross. Here comes Gant Starlin. 0 for 2 on the game. With two strikeouts against Nolan Chris. And you can bet both these coaching staffs are in the big I take a lot of notes on who these pitchers are and situations in case they do see each other come state playoff time. One ball, no strikes. Again, we'll see him again in Atlanta on April the 7th. Time to call as the catcher going out to try to calm the pitcher down. He's been kind of erratic here in this relief appearance. And just joining us, it was 0-0 to this inning with solo home run by four times at the lead off against Nolan Chris. Chris has left the pitcher's mind still in the game. And the game starting at the plate with the runner first, one down. Chance for more insurance here in the bottom of the sixth inning as the pitcher is struggling here in relief. The 1 0 pitch. Down low, gets by the catcher again, down the second base. There's JT Cross. Another wild pitch. Two balls, no strikes. The 2 0 pitch. Base hit down the corner. The run's going to score. It's 3 0 for Wayne County. Cam Starling with a stand up double. An RBI. And Wayne increases the lead to 3 to nothing. So the insurance inning now continues. What a big hit by Gans starting RBI double. Here's David Mosley still just one down. Three runs in the bottom of six. Wayne now making a statement against the Wildcats. Pitches up high, ball one, one and oh. One ball, no strikes, one out, the 1 0 pitch. And now they got to pick up a second base, and he's out of second base. Dan Starling got caught off the bag, and there's two outs in the end. 
Again, he just got too far up the bag, and the pitcher picks him off. Two outs in the sixth. David Mosley still at the plate. One ball, no strike count. Three outs away when we head to the seventh. Pitches in for a strike. One and one. Then eight, nine, and one for Locust Grove in the seventh. Popped him up. Infield. Third baseman says he's got it. And he does. Inning in. A one and inning for Wayne County. Began with a solo home run by four times and three runs. Two hits, no errors, nobody left on base. Three outs when we head to the seventh and score. Wayne, three, Locust Grove, zero. Tim Boykin of Boykin Steel and Crane wish the Yellow Jackets the best of luck this season. And Boykin Steel and Crane's legacy will make your foundation stronger as they specialize in steel fabrication, industrial maintenance, steel erection, crane rentals, and concrete. Boykin Steel and Crane in operation in Justin and Wayne County since 1972. Jim Boykin has taken over the family business and continues to do what's best for his community. Boykin Steel and Crane located on the Spanner Highway in Jessup. The number to call is 427-7751. Boykin Steel and Crane. Again, wishing the Yellow Jackets the best of luck. Mobile Concrete in Justin wishes the Yellow Jackets the best of luck in today's game and wants everyone to know that no job is too big or small for Mobile Concrete. Mobile Concrete has locations in Jessup, Baxley, Brunswick, Glenville, Hinesville, Darien, and 800, Georgia. Located at 1705 Highway 341 South in Jessup, just past East Bits Chevrolet on the left. Seven plant locations with 25 mixtures. Give Mobile Concrete a call today at 427-2330. Mobile Concrete says go Wayne County. Is your checking account broke? These days, every little bit helps. So if you can eliminate monthly checking charges, why wouldn't you? At Interstate Credit Union, we'll help you afford everyday living with our low to no cost products and services. Call 800-822-1124 or go online at iufcu.org to find out how to make checking work for you at Interstate Credit Union. Branches in Jessup, Baxley, Midway, and Hazelhurst. Federally insured by NCUA. This is Wayne County Baseball on WIFO FM Jackets. Three outs from the win are the Wayne County Yellow Jackets. Eight, nine, and one to face four times. And who, after the leadoff double to Nolan Cripps, got two strikeouts and a bounce out to the pitcher. Here's J.K. Lee, one for two on the day. Pitch is low, ball one, one and eight. Wayne with a three run cushion. Three outs to go. A 1-0 pitch, and for a strike, 1-1. One one. Stay tuned for the Country Financial Post Game Show. It comes your way next year on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. Here from Coach McDonald and a couple of players, and I promise you we'll hear from four times. A solo home run, and now a chance to win it here on the mound. Two ball, one strike count The J.K. Lee. On deck is up church. The 2 1 pitch. Low ball three, three and one. Three balls, one strike. 3 1 pitch. And for strike, three and two. Three balls, two strikes. 3 2 pitch. Round ball, right side, first baseman Marlin's got it. Flips to Ford, who covers. One up, one down in the seventh. Two outs to go. Here's T.J. Upchurch. Sorry, Tommy Limart or Lemnick. Lemnick, pinch hitter, left-handed batter. Four times in Wayne County, two outs away from a sweet win here at home to go to 5-0 on the campaign. A big win over the Locust Grove. Nolan Crisp held us in check until that solo home run in the sixth by four times over the left field wall, his second of the year. And Wayne took a one nothing lead and got two runs after that, after they took Nolan Crisp out. And we lead it 3 nothing here in the top of the seventh inning. And we're two outs from victory and a 5-0 start to the 2018 campaign. Four times are ready to stretch the pitch. Rounded foul, no balls, one strike. Again, we'll see these guys again in Atlanta April 7th at SunTrust Park. It's a 1 o'clock game in Atlanta. No balls, one strike. The 0-1 pitch. 
swing and a miss, strike two, 0 oh and 2. No balls, two strikes, one out. Four times and ready, the 0 2 pitch. Grounded foul once again, and it remains 0 oh and 2. Four Townsend with a solo home run to left to give us a one nothing lead. We lead it three nothing, two outs from victory. No balls, two strikes, the 0-2 pitch. Called it ball one, one and two. So one ball, two strikes, one out. Forward ready, the one two pitch. Swung on and foul back, one and two. One ball, two strikes, one out. Wayne, three. Locust Grove, zero. Top of the seventh. One down. Nobody aboard. Four times and stares in. One ball, two strikes, one out. The one-two pitch. Strike three, two away in the seventh. And Luke Wellborn, the last hope for Locust Grove. Wellborn 0 for 3 on the day. Bounced out twice and struck out in the fifth. Four times with three strikeouts in five batters. Looking for strikeout. Round out, fly out, doesn't matter. Just looking for an out. Pitch up high, ball one. One out for the win at Howard Bowen. One ball, no strikes, two eyes. The pitch in for a strike, one and one. One ball, one strike, two outs, nobody on. Top of the seventh. Four closing it out here for Wayne County to one one. Outside, ball two, two and one. No game tomorrow for Wayne. Next game on the road to Camden on Tuesday. Have it for you down from Camden in a trip to Atlanta the, f- the following weekend. Not this weekend, but next weekend. Two balls, one strike. Two balls, one strike. Ford stares in. A stretch and a 2 1 pitch. In for strike two, two and two. Down to a final pitch. Two balls, two strikes, two eyes. Four times and setting ready. The 2 2 pitch. Swung on and fouled straight back. It remains two and two. Country Financial Post Game Show coming your way next year on the Big Dog 105.5. Celebration about to begin with one final out. Crowd on his feet. Two balls, two strikes, two out. And time called as Wellborn steps out. So Wayne County crowd came in full force in their love every minute. Great ball game. Close to 500 strong on hand. Two balls, two strikes, the 2 2 pitch. Swung on and foul straight back. It remains even at 2 2. And the crowd will do it once more. And thanks to everybody coming out tonight. Sporting this Wayne County Gilbert Jacob baseball team. Told you it'd be a good ball game, and a good, good ball game it was. Nolan Chris is good as advertised, but Ford got the best of him with a solo home run. The 2 2 pitch. High ball three, three and two. On deck is Josh Newton. The payoff pitch, got him. Ball game over, swing and a miss. It is a winner, winner. Kick in there with Locust Grove, the final. Wayne, three, Locust Grove, zero. Country Financial Post Game Show next. On Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. Oh, yeah. All day roof.
Roofing is proud to be sponsored with Wayne County Baseball. I want you to know that they got you covered when it comes to roofing. Locally owned and operated with over 30 years' experience, Eddie Falls and All Day Roofing is ready to help you as they specialize in all types of roofs. Licensed and insured, give them a call today at 912-266-0252. That's 912-266-0252. That's All Day Roofing, where they've got you covered when it comes to roofing. If you need a roof of any kind, call All Day Roofing today. Again, the number 912-266-0252. All Day Roofing wishing the Jack is a state championship this year. When you become a customer at Prime South Bank, you'll become part of a team that has your back and is with you every step of the way in achieving your financial goals. Our doors opened in 1891. 125 years later, we are still going strong. Prime South is constantly bringing innovative and convenient banking solutions to our growing communities. And our customers, well, they are the real MVPs. In the bank or on the field, Prime South's game face is always on for you. Prime South Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Ottawa Motors of Hinesville is the home of the $1,995 vehicle. So if you're in need of a vehicle that you can afford, come see Brent or Madre at Ottawa Motors. Conveniently located across from the new shopping center on your way into Hinesville and only 20 minutes from Jessup. Whether you need a car, truck, or SUV, come see Madre or Brent at Ottawa Motors in Hinesville and let them put you in your next vehicle. Give them a call at 912-368-1144. 368-1144. The manager and staff at First Franklin Financial support our Wayne County Yellow Jacket baseball team and hope they hit a home run every game. You, too, will hit a home run when you visit us, the friendly fashion folks at First Franklin Financial at 1074 North Macon Street. Call us at 427-4237 or apply online at 1FFC.com. Jacket Post Game, brought to you by Sean O'Quinn, your country financial representative. Welcome back. Time now for the Country Financial Post Game Show. Waiting on the coach and a couple of players to make it up. I'm sure we're going to hear from Fort Townsend. As Fort Townsend stole the show here tonight, it was 0-0 in the bottom of the sixth, and Fort Townsend let it off against Nolan Crisp, who went to, up to the sixth inning and gave up the solo home run on a 2-1 pitch to Fort Townsend, placed over the left field wall. Ford came in and pitched the 6th and 7th. Picks up the win on the mound as well. And a big win for Wayne County here to stay unbeaten on the season. Go to 5 and other line scores in the game. And three runs, just four hits for Wayne. No runs, just three hits for Locust Grove. Locust Grove made four errors in the ball game. But again, none of those errors came back to cost them any runs. The run given up by the solo home run by four times and over the left field wall. And Wayne County takes the 1-0 lead, and then Ford closes it out the 6th and 7th. And Wayne County gets out with the 3-0 victory. So, again, we'll be back in action on Tuesday at Camden, then head to Atlanta a week from today and be in Atlanta for a game on Friday and a game on Saturday and a Peach Belt tournament up there in Atlanta. So, again, just waiting on Coach McDonald and a couple of players to make their way up here in Fort Townsend. What a game for Fort Townsend. In our relief, he comes in the sixth, gives up the leadoff double to Nolan Crisp, who got the third. But Ford struck out the next two batters and then got a ground ball to first base to end the inning and comes back in the seventh, gets a ground ball to first, and then two strikeouts to close out the ball game. Final score, Wayne, three, Locust Grove, zero. And again, you're tuned to the Country Financial Post Game Show here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5, and just waiting for Ford Townsend and Coach McDonald to make their way up here to the press box. We'll take a time out and be right back. Your score, final, Wayne 3, Locust Grove 0. We'll be back after the timeout. 
One of the worst feelings in the world is when your vehicle lets you down and leaves you stranded on the side of the road. We'll put your mind at ease because Grant Lewis Towing is available 24 hours a day with towing service locally or long distance. When you need a tow, call a pro. Call Grant Lewis Towing at 427-0857. You heard right. When you need a tow, call the pro and put your mind at ease. No time to stress. It's no longer a mess. Help us just a phone call away. Grant Lewis Towing, over 40 years experience and available whenever needed. Call Grant Lewis Towing for all your towing needs. Again, the number 427-0857. Call Grant Lewis by request. The number to call 427-0857. Colby Dent and the folks at McCrary Pressure Washing want to wish the Yellow Jacket baseball team much success this season on their march to the state championship. McCrary Pressure Washing brings many years of professional experience cleaning restaurant exhaust hoods, kitchens, and bathrooms. So instead of calling an out-of-town service, call the local family-owned business with more than 20 years of experience. Call Colby at 912-586-6171. That's 586-6171. McCrary Pressure Washing, licensed and insured. For all your medical needs, Tim's Home Medical on South First Street and Jessup has you covered. Oxygen, CPAP equipment, wheelchairs, walkers, hospital beds, plus specialty medical equipment from a local company that cares. Tim's Home Medical can handle Medicare, Medicaid, and private insurance billing, as well as family records for tax purposes. Tim's Home Medical, owned and operated by Tim Sloan, 918 South First Street in Jessup. Tim's Home Medical. Call 385-2490, 385-2490. Hurricane's Convenience Store and Cafe invites everyone to stop by before or after the game. It's a one-stop store with just about everything you need to get through the day. Whether it's a fill-up with gasoline or a snack or delicious breakfast Monday through Friday at Hurricane's Cafe, yes, Hurricane's is that one-stop shop convenience store and is ready to serve you. Hurricane's is locally owned and operated by the Twilley family. Ron and the gang invite you to stop by. If you need to call, the number is 912-294-2276. It's Hurricane's, a hurricane to run to and not from. Hurricane's Convenience Store and Cafe, ready to serve you. Baseball brought to you by the Interstate Credit Union, McCrory Pressure Washing, and the Ultima Federal Credit Union. Welcome back to the Country Financial Post Game Show. With us is the star of the show today, four times that not only picks up the win on the line, but he has the big home run. We'll start with the home run. Four, it's a 0 0 game. Lead off against Nolan Chris. They gave you an intentional pass one time with the guy at first base, so you know they feared you. It's a 2 1 count. Where do you throw you? He threw me a fastball, Mr. Bob. I mean, like I said earlier, he, uh, out of the past two years I faced him, I squared up lots of balls off of him, been seeing it real well, and I finally got something to go my way, and it just got out of the park and put us on top, and then we didn't look back from there. How good did it feel? I saw you when you got the, you ran like you didn't know what was going on, and when you saw it go over the wall, you kind of slowed down to second base, and you could just feel how excited you were to see that ball go over the fence. What, what kind of feeling is that for those that don't know? I mean, it's just a great feeling. I mean, he's a he's a good pitcher. He's going to Florida, I mean, and he's giving it all he's got, and it's just something that you go up there and you practice for every day to go up there and practice the big at-bats when you're down in the count, you're behind in the game, you just go up there and practice it every day, and then it comes to reality out here on the baseball field. Uh, no, then you get the big win on the mound. You felt good. It looked like you threw real hard. Yes, sir, Mr. Bile. Like I told you, my, uh, Tuesday night in Evencam, I was feeling it, feeling way better than I did last weekend. So I come out tonight, you know, I was feeling it. My breaking ball was there, and I just pounded the strike zone, didn't throw many balls, wasn't wild, and just let it happen. I know Coach McDonald and Mullison in there one game at a time, don't look ahead, but how fun was it playing this type of quality team here on a Friday night in front of this crowd? Oh, man, it's amazing. It's February, and we're already a packed house. There's nothing like it. There's, I mean, colleges don't even get this experience, and we're having it right here on a Friday night in February, and the season's just five games in. Well, congratulations. We might see these guys. We're going to see them definitely in Atlanta, but we might see them down the road as well. So congratulations on the big win. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Bob. Let's get J.T. Crosby in here. J.T. pitched five strong innings, didn't get any decision, but I'll tell you what, some quality pitches and some quality outs. Again, uh, tight situations. They had runners on base several times. That you able to get a ground ball double play one time, get a big strikeout one time. So yes, it looks like you had your good stuff working tonight. Yes, sir. I was ex- executing the pitches. Yeah, you're familiar with this team. I'm sure we got a book on everybody, so I'm sure they got the pitching what pitch to who and whatever. But yes, quality baseball team. How do you feel to get a big win here tonight? It's all good. There's nothing like it. Again, I'm sure we'll see him. Like I said, I know we're going to see him in Atlanta, and it was, you know, but you may see him again. So how do you feel as far as your outing goes? I mean, you got to good. Yeah. I got behind early, some early, but I executed pitches and got out. 
They definitely did. Again, the defense came through. No errors. That was the best best part. The best part of this game might be the zero error. I, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> All right, well, congratulations on a big win. I appreciate it, Mr. Bone. Gans in it here with a big RBI double in that seventh inning. It's got us some insurance runs. I know that felt good, Gant. But, uh, again, got Chris out of there, and then we got those insurance runs. And really put this game away uh, when it was 3 nothing going to go 7-4 on the mound. Pretty much everybody knew it was over. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We uh, had faith in Ford closing that game from the get-go. I mean, uh, uh, I believe it was over when uh, Crosby was pitching, honestly. Um, <laughs> he pitched well. He did. He did. But you got to get some runs, and we did that. Ford got the big home run. But how's the feeling out there in left field? Look like you're catching the ball off the bat pretty good defensively, making all the plays. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I've been putting a lot of work out there, and uh, I'm glad I could execute in the game. How does it get that RBI double? Well, after striking out two times, Coach always tells us we're going to face adversity, and uh, thank God I got put in another situation where I could uh, overcome that adversity, and uh, thank God I did. Well, keep up the good work. Congratulations on the big win. Appreciate it, Mr. Bob. Let's get Coach McDonald in here. Again, big, big win for Wayne County. Final score of 3-0. Again, what a crowd. I mean, yeah. we built it up, packed the park. Yes. Close to, I think Nicole said, close to 500 tickets sold for this one. Again, yeah. as Ford mentioned, it's hard to believe that you get a high school atmosphere like this in yeah. February. As he mentioned, a lot of the colleges don't get atmospheres right. like this. Yeah. But it's fun to get a quality team in here to come play us. Yeah, it is. And, uh, and this is the reason we put this schedule together. This is exactly as advertised, and that's what I told Coach Phillips after the game. I guess these people got what they wanted. But I want to encourage everybody to make it like this every night. Don't just wait to the big game or, or, or the game to get pumped up. When we play at home, it needs to be like this because – They've never seen anything like it, and that's what they said after the game. And, again, that, that, that's why Wayne County is special, and it's a great place to coach baseball. And, again, we have great players. And I, I, our coaching staff, they've done an outstanding job tonight. And, uh, like I said, I sit back and watch Coach Mullins, Coach Brown, and work on the, with those guys on the mound, and it's something to sit back and watch. And, like I said, they've done an outstanding job keeping hitters off balance and building confidence in guys and, and, and getting them back out there and getting them out these and can't say enough about J.T. Crosby. He's done exactly what he, he, he's done all year and uh, done last year. But, again, Ford Townsend comes in, and, and, and man, that's that's outstanding, throwing, throwing yeah, gas. He was throwing gas over. right side again. They yeah. wanted this out. They wanted to know what, you know, like I said, we yeah. took that atmosphere to the playoff yeah. ground. And they called you after the regular season. The yeah. service playoffs were over and said, look, why don't we just, we're curious. Yeah. We want to know what it's like at your yep. place on a home game. Well, That's exactly what they got. Doing. I think Nolan Chris was enjoying it. Yeah, I yeah. think he enjoyed the big crowd and yeah. pitching. But he's, you know, he, he said all week long what a quality pitcher he is, what a quality kid, and yeah. he showed it tonight. Yeah, yeah. You know, just one bad pitch. Uh, yeah. Other than that, he's lights out. Yeah, he's a great. He's a great player, a great pitcher. Uh, he's a he's a great player in any position they put him in. You know, he's a, originally a catcher. So, uh, like I said, he 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 did an outstanding job on the mound. And the mentality we had coming in, we knew he was going to be on pitch count and. And try to run that pitch count up, and uh, and we didn't get it up quick enough. I think he ended up going five. But what was the issue with the elite pitch? What was going uh, on there? It's the same problem we had in the the final four series with him. He he's changing his wind up. His back foot's coming up off the rubber, which you cannot do, and and it's not it's not repetitive. So it's not the same thing over and over. And then the pause and the wind up, it has to be a continuous motion. But again, they got it right. They made a job, good job of adjusting to it behind the plate and and making. Making sure, and, and you know, there was no argument from the other side, so right calls were made. And again, that that was the goal we coming in trying to trying to uh, break his timing and break his momentum on the mound. And I got to the great job, and and it got a little wild there at times. So uh, like I said I'm just proud of overall effort, guys coming in trying to, especially in a game like this where the, where the way it was built up last year, being able to come in here and keep your composure and and play the game, and and that goes back to just being a year older of experience with these guys and. Coming in and finding a way to win. And little things get overlooked. The base runner by Collage yeah. late in the yeah. game, the big hit by Gant, the uh, throw out by Mosley, oh, yeah. Crosby pitching out of tough situations, uh, no errors at all. Oh, yeah. That was great. That's the first time we've seen that in yeah. five games. So it was nice to see that zero and error yeah. column. Yeah, another one you, you mentioned two or three, but that, that play Cooper made with runners on base. Bear right, right, bare hand throw, right. Great throw, right. I said that, that's what, that, we got them playing with confidence now. And again, I, I, I'm a small part. We got great players and they know how to play the game. We just got to to manage them and, and, and build them up and put them in a situation to be successful. And, and that's what we try to do. And tonight, I think they did a great job of taking advantage of the situation when they had them and, and finding a way to put a few runs up and keeping it close with, with a – I'm talking about that's probably the best you're going to see in high school baseball on the mound that's on an opposing team. So, right, so I'm just proud of our guys coming in not getting – yeah, I told people they were coming. I told you, I said, this is the next Adam Wainwright. This is the next yeah. Dustin McGowan. This is a guy who's projected to go to that yeah. level. So if you want to see a quality guy, yeah. 
here's your yeah. chance. And we've had we've been lucky. We've played against guys yeah. playing now in the major leagues. And yeah. about 35 years, seen quite a yeah. few. But that's the kind of kid he was yeah. tonight. And I think they got their money's worth when yeah. they came and watched. He was, he was pretty. He was yeah. he was as good as advertised. That's right. That's one of the names you'll put in your back pocket and and then keep an eye on. But like I said, our kids responded to him and and, and found a way to win. And and I'm just I'm just proud of them. And again, appreciate everybody coming out and. Again, I want to encourage them to make it like this every night, not just wait till we we have a game like this coming in. And I think we're on the road all next week. Yeah, so we get a, it starts on Tuesday, Canada, right? Is it Tuesday it's or Monday? Monday it's it's Monday, 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 Monday. Yeah, yeah, we're part of that little five game stretch we talked about. It's going to be tough, but I guess step one's over, and then we'll go move to Canada, real good Camden team, and, and then head up to Atlanta to the tournament this weekend and, and see what happens. So, uh, like I said again, proud of our kid, proud of the fans, proud of our coaching staff. They've done an outstanding job. Well, congrats, Coach. Like again, said, about five down, 25 to go, regular yeah, season. Let's take playoffs begin. Right, Wayne County helps a nice five and they'll start with a big win over Locust Grove. That's going to do it for the broadcast. Thanks to our sponsors. Thanks to our listeners. Again, Wayne County three, Locust Grove zero until Monday when we hit the Camden for six o'clock ball game. Bob Morgan saying so long, everybody. Have a great weekend. Your thing to dine or take out for one delicious meal and with low great prices, it's simply a steal. Famous for the variety of sauces, mild, wild, and singer inferno. When it's time to eat lunch or dinner, Damon's restaurant the place to go. Located in the middle of town on West Cherry Street, yes, Damon's famous fingers and wings simply can't be beat. So next time you're hungry and looking for a great meal, head to Damon's restaurant and enjoy a great deal. The number to call is easy 588 Wing, 588 9464, the real thing. Damon's famous fingers and wings, those chicken wings are a very popular thing. Wayne County Baseball brought you in part by Hurricanes Convenience Store, Sheriff John Carter, and Damon Famous Fingers and Wings. Get Sonic Good. Sonic Good Jessup at 919 First Street wants to wish the Yellow Jacket Baseball team the best of luck on their march to the state championship. Come by Sonic after the game, and for the next two hours, we will give you a free drink with any purchase. Sonic on First Street wants to wish the Yellow Jackets the best of luck in their winning season. So come by, visit our new dining room that will be opening up after March 1st. Remember, it's Sonic Good. Communication is the key when it comes to business, especially your financial business. That's why Altamaha Federal Credit Union makes communication a priority, making banking easier for you. AFCU has money to lend, and it's easy to apply online or with a quick phone call. Your local credit union with open lines of communication. Altamaha Federal Credit Union. Jessup, Scriven, and Ludowisi. Visit altamaha.org. Equal housing lender, federally insured by NCUA. You've been listening to Wayne County Baseball. Boom, boom, boom. Brought you in part by... Hurricane's Convenience Store. The Altamaha Federal Credit Union. Sheriff John Carter, Game of Famous Fingers and Wings, George Jessup Piggly Wiggly, Grant Lewis Towing, Republic Services, Wayne Memorial Hospital, State Farm Agent Robin Eubanks, Sheffield Strokes and Sports Shop, Civil Family Restaurant, Boykin Erector, Mobile Concrete, All Day Roofing, High South Bank, Lightning Body Shop, First Franklin Financial, Tim's Home Medical, Altamaha Motors, McCrary Pressure Washing, and the Interstate Credit Union.